Hi. Supermarket. Thank you, Page Profile, for the sub. I appreciate it. I haven't even started yet. I'm just kind of like. Supermarket. I love stores. Hi. Uh, my microphone working fine. There we go. Just close up the gray curtain. Hi. How are you? How's your Saturday night, Chad? Ooh, my bone, my bone, my bone, my bone, my bones. Mm. Big fan of the Vosh, the Stampede glasses. I like them a lot, too. Me when I'm... It, try gun. Thank you, thank you for not saying John Lemon. I would have I cried. You want me to cry? It's all a cry. We got a new dog today. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Brendan the Unprofessional. You're on... Unpro shut the fuck up. You're on... Un you're un shut the fuck... You're... Shut the fuck... Shut the fuck. Shut the fuck up. You're unprofessional. I'm not unprofessional. I'm an incredibly professional guy. I got out of the shower like 30 minutes ago. My hair's still a little bit wet. You know. It is spring break for me. Nice. Spring trap for me. <laughs> Get it? Because they're going to put me in the spring lock suit. That's the bit. Help a customer knock over the entire aisle of salsa. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there. No, I know. Leon the professional reference. I get it. I just didn't I didn't want to acknowledge it. I didn't want to give Rock Distributor that, so now you're making me acknowledge that I do understand the reference. I just didn't want to understand the reference. Now I, I I do. I just pretended I pretended that I didn't understand it. That's part of the streamer code. Uh part part of the streamer like contract that we sign when we start streaming video games and trying to be funny. Is um we just pretend to be a lot dumber than we actually are. Actually, we're very smart. It's all a trick. It's all a ruse. It's all a joke, and you've fallen for it. You've fallen for my engagement bit. You've engaged in the chat, therefore cementing yourself even deeper into the Brendan hole. I'm so sorry. Oh, you watch movies? No, never seen a movie in my fucking life. If I watched movies, I'd be a much worse person. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but since I'm not a decided movie watcher, uh, things are actually better. Thank goodness I don't watch movies. Horrible, horrible day for movie lovers and cinephiles everywhere. Never seen a movie in my life, and I never will. Oh, beep, beep, bum, beep, beep. Oh, beep, beep, bum, beep, beep. Supermarket Simulator, we played this um, during the Next Fest demo. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Cuddle Up, for the yeah. tier one sub. We played this during the Next yeah. Fest demo, and I think we had a good time with it. And the full release is is out. And so I thought, you know what? Let's give it a fat try. Let's open up a supermarket and have a good one. Thank you, Ax Axolotls, for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I'm fucking... You sold egg. I did sell egg. Really? Playing the full release of this? They got a lot more options. You're able to sell egg. I mean, you broke me on the latest PST episode when you said, hold on, Bing, write me a book called Big and Round in the White House. I... I what, what can I say? I'm funny. I'm a, I'm a funny looking guy. I'm a funny guy. People keep forgetting that. Pandering streamer selling egg. Woke streamer sells only egg in supermarket. Woke streamer destroyed by tons and tons of protein. 
Lashana Ball OC 20. Stop. Don't don't Lashana Ball at me. We're getting more to the fishing dad and trucking with dad? No. Eventually. I mean, they, those, those only arrive when I feel like it. Those those happen in the moment. I'm not promising. I never promise those. The, the dad stuff, I never promise it. It'll happen if it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Those are the rules. Need a boring game? Yeah, you need a really boring game for it. And I think a retail simulator is going to bring a different kind of vibe. It's going to open up the, uh, the, 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 the retail brain worms. Will there be unexpected items in the bagging area? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Axolutals, for the yeah. five gift subs. Wow! Yeah. I'm shitting. I'm farting. I'm pooping and squarting. Right, and it looks like you're jerking off. I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah. I just, I move my yeah. legs. Yeah. I, I fucking, I move my legs all the time. I'm always moving. I don't stop moving. It's just what it is. Yeah, um, actually, I have, uh, yeah. I have a leg exercise yeah. device and I'm pumping it as I stream. Yeah. I don't sit still. I never got the, uh, you know, the spare the rod and spoil the child. I never got enough of the rod. Should have hit me with a, with a birch yeah. switch a lot more. Not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Oh, the camera's on? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That proves nothing. You still have hot thighs. Jorking yeah. it with my thighs. Crazy yeah. style. Yeah. No. Ooh. Waking up, waking up. Brennan, what do your piss tinted eyes see? I see directly into the void. I see the darkness inside of mine own eyes. I see the darkness in my head reflected back at me, and that's how it is. Sorry, heating up my hands. Brennan, what do you piss? Piss. Uh. All right, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, cam off. We're going to go over to the game screen. Uh, camera button work. Okay. Uh, let's get Supermarket Simulator up, shall we? There we go. Yeah, new background, new B new BRB screen, too. I, uh, I fucked up, and I deleted the old ones, and I knew I would fuck it up because I was clearing out my downloads folder. Um, I didn't mean to, but I did. Oh. Oh, supermarket. How ready are we to get into the supermarket? Uh, set the prices with profit. Avoid bankruptcy. How do we change the name of our supermarket? Can I do that in this full version, right? Management. Licenses. Customization. Oh, is it just called supermarket still? You can't change the name of it? I don't want to be just the supermarket. Let me just change the... Let me just change the name of that real quick. You can get a product license. Look at all these product licenses. Wow, insane. What do we what can we order right now? Growth? Hiring and storage? This is heartbreaking. A bad video game. Let me just uh end this stream. No. <laughs> what even can we order? Um Brad. We can get furniture. Uh Yeah, we need a shelving unit, right? Oh no, we already have one. I don't need to order that. I don't need to worry about it. Close that, close that, close that. What kind of products do we want to have? Uh, give me... How much money do we have? $50? So, like, I can sell bread. Is what you're telling me. What you're saying is I'm a bread store? Oh, I can't sell that many bread. Sorry. That's far too many bread for my palate, babe. Far too much bread for this supermarket. I guess we start with bread. Hi, how's it going? Having a great day? Ho, ho, ho. Love your slacks. Hey there, how's it going, Buster? Ho, ho, ho. Who's ready for bread? Mm, yummy, 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 yummy bread. How do I talk? I gotta throw this in the garbage. Welcome to the bread store. Hope you get your loamy bread. Welcome to the bread store. Hope you get that in your head. Welcome. We're selling Ron's here. I mean, I am Brendan. We're selling bread. It's a good profit. It's a good level of profit on the bread. Let me take a little look-see here. Uh, what price should I set on the bread? Average cost is 99 cents. Market price is 396. So we want to we want to undercut our competition, right? So $50. 
No, not fifty dollar bread. No, no, no. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. Three fifty bread. Three fifty bread. All right, we're good. Let's open up the store. Three fifty bread. All right, I'm working here. Hi, hey, picking up some bread. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Grab yourself a loaf. Thank you. All righty. What do we got here? Hey. Let me just scan this son of a bitch. Take your fucking money. And what are we? What are we looking at here? Hmm. All pennies. You want your change, right? You want your change, right? You love your change, right? You love a little change, right? All pennies. Um. Yeah, I think we're good on that front. How do I? Uh, how do I? How do I? Approve. Ooh, two loaves of bread. Daring today, aren't we? Ooh, credit card, huh? Uh, seven dollars. No, not seven hundred dollars. Seven. Let me just charge you seven hundred dollars real quick. Ooh, a credit card. Nice. Uh, three fifty. Cool. Obliterate this man. We sold a butt. We sold some bread. Go to my store. My my. Hey, where the fuck did that guy come from? What the fuck? I was like, come to my store, buy my bread. Is there like a gala? What the fuck did you? Forty? You brought fifty dot? You fucking piece of shit! I'm giving you the fifty cents and pennies. No, absolutely. We're not doing this shit today, but we're not doing this. We're not doing this fucking this, this whole like ooh 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 ooh. But what if? But what if I give you? But what if fifty dollars for a loaf of bread? <sighs> Oh, she's gonna buy a lot of bread, I can feel it. A whole loaf? Nice. Hi oh, there. Guard, huh? Nice. 350 for a little bit of that, man. Awesome, we're already doing great. Would you like to buy my bread? Ma'am! Hello, you look like a customer who needs some bread. Would you like to come in and buy some bread? Come in. Yes! It works! It works! It works! White woman buying bread. It works. Finally, we're doing the Wonder Bread experience. White woman buying bread. We're finally living through the Wonder Bread experience. A white woman is buying bread. Where's the deforestation? Where is it at? Where are the trees? A white woman comes into my store and she buys bread. Yes! Yes! More white women. More bread! It's fine too, I guess. You gotta wonder, chat. About the bread. More. More will come to my store, and they'll keep buying bread at a reasonable price. They'll look at the loaf of bread and say, This is a reasonable price for a loaf of bread. Look at them, they're coming in. They're coming in they're coming in droves. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Uh your six fifty is your change. Give me a moment to count your uh here's a fifty cent piece for you. That's real, right? People still use those. Hi, how's it going? Credit card. Buying bread today, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty nice day outside, isn't it? Enjoy. More white women and more bread. More white women and more bread. This man is coming for some bread. He doesn't even know. He has no fucking idea. No idea. No idea what he's coming into my store for. No fucking clue. Nice day for bread, isn't it, sir? Great day for bread, huh? Well, uh, you know what they say. It's a great day for bread. Mmm. Making a sandwich at home, huh? Gonna get some capicola. Gonna put some gabagool on there. That's, uh, capicola again. You're gonna put some ham on there. You're gonna put some pepperoni. I gotta follow this guy. You're gonna put some pepperoni slices on this sandwich, huh? You're gonna think... That looks like a penis. You think about, uh, you think about maybe putting a little ham, maybe a little roast beef, maybe a little tomato, maybe a little lettuce, maybe a little, uh, other kind of vegetable, maybe a little onion. I don't know. I don't know. What are you thinking about? What are you making at home, huh? You making a PB&J, huh? You making a fat slapper, huh? He's gone! I got a customer. I gotta. I gotta be wary of the store. They got guys coming in. Hello. Would you like to buy some bread? Awesome. I love selling bread to people. Uh, have a great day. Enjoy your bread. Hi. Oh Jesus. All right. Cash money, huh? Fifty fucking dollars. You're an insane person. You came in here to get change. That's why you came in here to break change. You piece of shit. Bread, huh? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Enjoy your fucking day. I hope you have a way. It's a beautiful day outside, by the way. Beautiful. Beautiful day outside. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking gorgeous weather we're having. Have a great day. Coming to my bread store. Coming to buy some bread. Come and clear your head and buy some bread. News is, uh, ringing around through the town. The town crier is, uh, ringing his big bell. There's bread here. 
There's bread afoot. People are screaming, they're crying, they're shitting, they're farting. There's bread out here. Hi, little card, huh? I see. 3.50. Nice. Have a great day, sir. Oh, two loaves. Well, well, well. Somebody's stocking up on that fat stack, huh? Huh? Pretty cool. Have a great day. A white woman buying bread? Oh, hey. could it be? Bread for thee? Every day with this bread? Every day. It's nice to see the gates of hell opening immediately as soon as you realize you can sell bread. Hello, sir. Do you have a rewards card with us? Now, before I take this, do you have a rewards card with us? No, I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you. Before I take this card, before I take your credit card, have you thought about getting the supermarket bread credit card? No? All right. That's cool. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Let me just help you out with your day here. Hi, right, Two loaves of bread. Hey, as a bread connoisseur, I gotta ask you. Do you have bread rewards with us? You get an extra slice thrown in every bag of bread if you get bread rewards. No? Alright, that's fine. Seven dollars? Everybody loves the seven dollars. Get your breaded card here. Come to my bread store and get your breaded card. Holy shit, is that Sid from Toy Story but all fucked up and crazy? He's in here for bread. Don't you dare steal bread, mister. I'm watching you. You better pay for your bread. I shouldn't have judged. Judge not lest you be judged. Thank you for the cash, sir. He's just a bread connoisseur. A lot of bread connoisseurs. Hey, remember to check out my website, breadit.com. Remember, if you're buying bread, you can always go to the website, breadit.com. Our slice, our loaf. Check out all my subreddits. No, I don't think they want to check out any of my subreddits. We got a pumpernickel subreddit. We got a, we got a wheat and whole grain subreddit. Pretty cool. We made a lot. We're making a lot of money off of bread. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to diversify our portfolio now. I. it's really... I forgot about the lights. This is the darkened... How do I turn the lights on? There. There we go. This is like... I, I was genuinely afraid of, like, the darkened interior of my pooper market. Afraid. Fear. You walk into the dark supermarket. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's a wonder how these bread prices are so cheap. Turn the lights off. You shop in darkness now. Hi. How's it going? Bread, huh? That's great, dude. I love selling people bread in the dark. Yeah, I have a migraine, so, uh, three loaves! We got a three loafer here. First time for everything. Well, 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 uh, love to see a three loafer. I love to shop in the dark. It's the only way to shop. Another, is this another three loafer? Holy shit. Chat, we're getting three loafers here. Uh, insane, actually. The nightly, sh the nightly shopping of the three loafers. Who needs three loaves of bread? I don't know. Loaf lovers, loaf lovers anonymous. I don't. Have you? Do you know? Do you know somebody who loves a loaf? Do you know a loaf lover? You may have a loaf lover in your home, and you don't even know. Some people just want three loaves of bread. I don't understand it personally. I don't get it. But some people, they're loaf lovers. They love to loaf. Not only do they loaf around, they love a loaf of bread. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge a loaf lover? Right? Laboriously loving all the loaves of bread. Do. Loaf lovers uh, unite. Loaf lovers love. Loaf lovers are filled with light. Who loves to loaf? Uh, the loaf lovers do. Don't judge, lest ye be judged. Do you want to be judged? I don't want to be judged. Personally, by the fires of perdition, they will not touch me. I don't want to be judged. But a loaf lover loves. Are you a loaf hater or a loaf lover? You gotta tell me. That's the law. Live, laugh, loaf. Getting a slutty back tattoo that says just as much. Uh, close to the day. I think it was a good day of loafing around. Don't you, chat? Pretty good first day. A lot of bread. <sighs> you gotta pay your bills, sir. Oh, okay. I gotta pay my bills. Oh, this is so sad. Do I gotta go to the bank? Pay my bills. Where do I pay? In management? All bills are paid. Okay, alright, fair. Mm, interesting. We don't have enough money for a cashier, and that's that's fine. I can I can take care of the cash. I can I can take care of the cashiering right now. Um why is there a bunch of that's weird. Um What are we buying today? We wanna buy bread, right? We wanna stock bread. Are we are we carbing? Are we carb loading, I think? 
No, no, we want three boxes of bread again, and three boxes of oil, actually. A lot of bread, a lot of oil. Loaf lovers only, please. If you are not a loaf lover, please do not interact. This is a store for those who love a loaf. Alright? My store is a store for those who love to oil they self up and eat bread. Two things right now that we can work on. My customers love to oil up. They love to eat bread. Yeah, cook yourself some pan-fried bread. I mean, you need oil for a little bit of French t toast, don't you? He's talking the bread. Getting that extra bread. We're carbo-loading. We're carbo-loafing. Honestly and earnestly, we're getting real, real loaf friend hours out here, ain't we? Fully stocked with bread. Fully, for a reasonable price. White bread for a reasonable price. Insane. Undercut the competition for $4. Drive that customer to the brink. Ready for a brand new day? Ready for a brand new day. Come to my store, buy my oil and my bread. Come to my store, buy my oil and my bread. What a beautiful day. And live, laugh, loaf. That's, it, honestly, that's a really good name for a store. If I was able to name the store, we're naming it Live, Laugh, Loaf. Live, laugh, loaf. Hehe. <laughs> All right, what is he buying? Is he a smart shopper or a shop bopper? Ooh, he's a smart shopper. Oil, two oil and bread. Whoa, big spender over here. Whoa, Mr. Bender over here. Come on down to my funny shop and buy bread and oil. It's kind of a bop. Live, laugh, loaf. It's what it's about here at my store. Live, laugh, loaf. Come and buy my bread. It's always a chore. It's never a bore. Hello, sir. You buying oil and bread? Just oil? Um, only only a bottle of oil. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm starting a house fire. This oil is flammable, right? <laughs> Sir, I don't think I should sell you this with uh, with the knowledge that you're imparting on me. No, no, it's okay. I have my arson license. Yeah, fine, okay. Whatever, dude. Um, should I report this guy to the police or... No, not a big deal. All right, see you later. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy bread and oil? Hell yeah, I love selling bread and oil. I'm still thinking about that guy who just bought oil. Should I report him to the police? Excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. Stop, stop. I need you to stop right now, sir, please. Could you tell me about your machinations? Uh, sir, please. I, I, have to, I have to go to my store, but please, will you tell me what the oil is for? Sir? 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 He's, he's not responding. He's not responding. And I have a customer. Son of a bitch. I got to get back in there. I got to get back in there right now. Hi. Welcome to the two loaves of bread dude, for a reasonable price. Wow. Crazy kind of day. Buying oil today, are we? Daring. Hello, I have these two bottles of oil and I'm starting a house fire. I, you know, when I got into this game, kind of crazy the amount of people that are just admitting to starting house fires. But, um, all right, I guess have a great day. Enjoy your, enjoy your house fire. Let me guess. Are you... Are you starting an... Are, are you going to be starting a house fire? No, I, uh... No, I, uh... I'm deep frying a turkey. Okay. The turkey's going to catch on fire, isn't it? Okay. All right, fine. I feel like I should have pamphlets around here for fire protection. Hi. Two oil and a bread? Oh, what is that? What's that you say? You're making some creamy oil sandwiches? Nice. Every family loves it. Let me guess. House fire and a snack? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine, I guess. House fire and a snack. All right. Well, I got to stop selling oil. I don't, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of how this uh how this second day is turning out. I was really happy about the the last day, the first day, but uh Yeah, this is also for a house fire. You, uh, need anything else? No? Alright, that's what I thought. Enjoy your house fire, sir. This is for a house- yeah, this is- this is just- There's an epidemic in this town. I, uh, I can't control it. Just, uh, every- You know what? This is normal. 85- Are you fucking- Who the fuck brings 100 to a grocery store? I'm fucking- 
You're insane. You're insane. You're insane. Get out of my fucking store. Out of my fucking store. Don't fucking come back if you're gonna break- If you're gonna break a fucking hundred in my store, stay the fuck out of my store. I don't have enough fucking- I don't have enough change, I gotta go to the bank. Where's the bank at? I gotta go to the bank. I gotta- I gotta go break change. Where's the bank at? Why do I have a jump? Excuse me. Do you know where the bank is? Excuse me. Could you tell me where the bank is, sir? Sir, I gotta know where the bank is. I don't know where the bank is. This is fucked. I gotta get back in. The customer is waiting on me. I, 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 don't, I don't even know where to make change at. This motherfucker better not hit me with a hundred dollar. Please don't hit me with a hundred dollar bill. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. See, I can do that. I can do that. Two oil, two bread. Sixteen dollars. See, I can do that. I can do that. Hello, sir. Why do you look like my one of my stepdads? Can you tell me how to get to the bank? Just one bo house fire, huh? Daring today, aren't we? Bread, huh? Bread fire. Daring today, aren't we? Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of bread and oil. Why is the fucking reflection hitting me in the eyes? Look at that truck! Oh shit, son of a bitch. No, I'm leaving. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Iowa! Activated. Activated now. Iowa mentioned. Good video game. Bold choice, huh? Enjoy your house fire. The price of bread. But what about the price of oil? Cinematic parallels. This is crazy. Hi. Using that card today, huh? How about, um... I got this guy, right? I got this friend, right? And he can actually set you up with something pretty cool, actually. It's called, um... It's called a discovery card. Um, he's looking for five people to join him in signing up for a discovery card. And he gets a bonus, and then you get a bonus. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Have a great day. Uh, are, you love dark shopping? Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. This is so awesome. We also love shopping in the dark. Just oil, huh? House fire. Fucking, uh, can I say no? Get out of my store. Out of my, s fuck off. I don't have enough money for this. You're making me break soap. Leave. Don't come back. Don't come back. Get out of here. Oil? All right, cool. Enjoy your house fire. Get the fuck out of here. Don't break a hundred in my fucking store. Don't you fucking dare break a hundred in my goddamn store. I'm gonna fucking rip you to shreds. Two oil, two bread, three oil. Daring today, aren't we? Shopping today, aren't we? Hmm, kind of a shop bop, not going to lie. Have a great day. Enjoy your oil and bread. What products do you need a license for? I don't know, probably Zin. Hey, do you guys have any Zins? I'm sorry, my son. The only Zins I have are the Zins that can be forgiven. No, no, I gotta know. Do you guys have any Zins? No Zins. Get out of my store. I don't have any Zins here. I don't have any cigarettes. I have no Zin pouches. Get out of here. No, I need Zins. You got, you got Zins? I need Zins right now. All your Zins, hand them over. I, I, I need them, Buster. I'm sorry. God, Jesus will forgive your sins, but he fuck off. He won't forgive your sins. Get out of here. Be gone. Mm, almost out of oil. Mm, end of the day. All right. Good day, though. Good day. Good day. Good day, I think. Good day. Uh, market price has changed. How's the bread? Bread is still a good price. Bread's still a good price. What about oil? Oil is still a great price, not gonna lie. All right, let's take a little look see here. Um, what products can we buy a license? I need a, a product license. What products can we buy a license for? Where is that at? Management? Licenses? Uh, bottle of water? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Think about getting a bottle of water. 
damn, look at all the store levels that you can get. You can get beer. Beer is the highest level. I do want to become a liquor store, I'm not going to lie. But if I buy this, I'm not going to have enough room to... See, but if I buy this right now, I, I, I shouldn't worry about that right now. We're going to add pasta. The, we're going to, you know what? We're going to add pasta and we're going to add cereal to the mix, I think. Oh, there's all my boxes. What do we got? Pasta? It's a pasta. Put it in a box. Deliver it to my house and put it on my shelf. Restock the bread. There we go. Good bread prices. Look at that bread. Bread shelving is full. Nice. I, I'm pretty sure I have an extra box of bread, don't I? Oh, we can put a little bread there. Oh, yeah, bread's full, so we're just going to put this over in the corner. There we go. Bread in the corner. Um, what is this? Mm, cereal. Love me my chocolate chunkies. Don't talk to me before I've had them. A little bit of oil. Restocking all the oil. I had a steak sandwich at a 50s diner today. It was amazing. God, I wish I had a steak sandwich. I think Shelby is uh, at dinner with coworkers, so I will I will get a funny burrito at some point, which will be nice. She's at dinner with coworkers. She's bringing me back a funny burrito. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to eat that funny burrito with my cam zoomed all the way in. As sloppy as possible. World's sloppiest burrito eater. I will do it. And more oil. Did I only buy one box of pasta? Crazy. I need more pasta. Can I even buy more pasta? Am I that expend all my money? Give me another box of pasta. No, this is oil. Shit. I bought the wrong thing. I bought more oil instead of pasta. God damn it. Easy mistake to make. Looking good though. Take a look at this. What's the what's the market price on this? Um we do four fifty, I think. What about this? Uh, market price is three twelve. We can do two fifty. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Our store is really shaping up. Shall be bringing a can of Brendan food home. Mmm, can of Brendan food. That's my favorite. How did you know? How did you know that Brendan food is my favorite? I need my Brendan snacks. What will I do without them? I need my box of dog food. I need a box of dog kibble. Oh, he's buying cereal. Just a box of cereal? Awesome. What do you got here? A hundred... Who the fuck? At the beginning of the day, you come into my store. As somebody who's worked in retail, let me fucking tell you. All right? Let me fucking, let me fucking tell you, Buster. Coming in and breaking a hundred, that's just not cool. Coming in and fucking breaking a hundred right at the beginning of the fucking day, that sucks, dude. Don't come into the store and break a hundred right at the beginning of the day, right when I reset change. That's fucked. That is a psychotic thing to do, by the way, is to bring in... Like, to, to bring in and break a hundred... Who needs two boxes of chunky chocolate cereal? You know what? I shouldn't judge. Who the fuck brings in... Who does that? Who, who the fuck brings in a hundred to break at the beginning of the day? You gotta let me make change, Buster. Another one! Okay, now I think the game is mocking me. I, I do think the game is mocking me with this. I think now they're bringing in the hundreds just to fuck with me. What is it, bank day at the bank? Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was bank day. They're testing my patience. What am I, a fucking doctor? Please come into my store. Please buy only bread. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Loaf. How can I help you? Bread? Or a uh, cereal? A little bit of pasta? Need those carbs. Pick up those carbs. Thank you for using a card, by the way. I appreciate it greatly. Hi. A little bit of chunky cereal. We get it. We love the chunky cereal. They need to break the hundred into bus money. They need to break the hundred, d d d like, at a bank. 50. That's not as bad. It's fine. Who am I to complain? Now you better not be breaking 100 with bread. Thank you for using a card. I appreciate it. 
credit carb. Please, when you're buying bread, use your credit carb. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Don't need a credit carb to ride this train. Welcome to my store. Enjoy my chunky cereal. Don't break a hundred, thank you. You're wearing a suit and tie. Hello, professor. What are you working on today? Mm, I'm seeing if I can put pasta, dry pasta between bread slices, if it'll make a wonderful sandwich. Thank you, professor. Great to see you. Thank you for only coming in with a 20. You enjoying retirement? Yes. Uh, kids still come to my home and throw eggs at my head when I'm mowing the lawn, but it's nice. I get a lot of time for making potions. Uh, have a great day, professor. You enjoy. You enjoy it. No flour? No bitches, no flour. No pasta, no hour. Hi. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. An incredible, an incredible array of product. I'm not going to lie. Couldn't find pasta. Yeah, because you bought the last of it. I ran out of pasta. Nobody want to buy bread today. Everybody want to get into my fucking head today instead. They're Playing the fucking mind games, ain't you? Or 50. Have a great day. See you later. Enjoy your day. Hey. I just love being behind the counter in my grocery store. Oh, burrito. Burrito. Thank you for the burrito, dear. I love you. I did not feed the children yet. I know, I know, rude. I'm too busy selling bread. And I gave them I I I gave them treats earlier because I knew you'd be home late. I know, I gave them treats earlier. They will be fine. I am not. I gave them treats. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. 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 It's only five minutes late. Okay. How was your dinner? Was it a good dinner? It was pretty good. I'm selling groceries to people. They're in need of oil, bread, and cereal. Mm, oil and cereal. Fifty dollars. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your oil. You know what? No change. Thank you. No. No, it's not, Shelby. I'm living the dream, so experiencing boring. my retail nightmares uh, in a digital space. Uh, hi, ma'am. How can I help you today? Mm, nice. Nice. Looking good. Oh, sorry. Can't find the barcode on this one. Oh, must be free. Mm, get out of my store. Get out of my store. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't do it. Don't come back. Get out of my store. Don't come back. Hi, sir. Would you like a bag for these? Nope. No, thanks. I got one at home. Out of my store. Out of my store. Out of my store. Get out of here. Out of my store. Out of my store. Get out of here. Great day, though. Selling a lot of bread. Uh, Sold a lot of pasta. We needed a lot of pasta. Of all the things that you could play, why is it retail simulator? I don't know. Why do, why do people who drive trucks, Shelby, play truck simulators? Why do people who farm... Play farm simulators, Shelby. I feel like they probably don't. They do. I think there's something wrong with you. There's not. So, I mean, there is something wrong with me, but it's not this. I love selling people groceries in the dark. Why is he here in the dark? Why, I don't, why is lights? he buying three bottles of oil and a box of cereal? Uh, maybe he needs to start a house fire. We don't know. Why don't you have lights? I do have lights. Why I just refuse to. I refuse to turn them on. We don't need the lights on. I like looking at my customers in the dark. I like them to be afraid of me. And I want them to be afraid of me. I want them to be fat and full of fear. This is a fetid shop. This is Live, Laugh, Loaf. Uh, we're doing horrible things here. Look at this dude. He's coming in and he's going to be yeah. buying some goods. Thank you, yeah. Axoloodles, for the tier one sub. Yeah. Axoloodles. And this is why people bring you $100 bills. Uh, yeah, they make me suffer as I make them suffer. Being a retail employee is also about making the customer suffer as much as you. 
So yes, they will shop in the dark. Yes, they will shop in the dark. Yes, they will suffer in the dark with me. I want to know what kind of customers, like crazy people, are coming into a store that's pitch black. They love coming into my incredibly dark store. It's a great time for they. Did you just turn on the lights? Yes. After closed? Yeah. We're closed. That means the, the lights are on, so that means we're closed. That's what that means, Shelby. The lights are on, but nobody's home. That's what people say about me all the time. I don't know what that means. Oh, I did not mean to be. Can I move that back? Thank you. This has got to be the sketchiest little store. It's not a sketchy little store. It's a cool little store with bread and oil and cereal. <laughs> Shelby, it's got all, all of the, the essentials. Shelby, it's got all the essentials: bread and oil and cereal. Why would I need anything else? No, this is like. A murder store. This like, is not a murder store. It's, what the heck? It's pitch black, and you come in here, and you see one guy standing in front of, a, like, a computer screen. Like, you're not going to walk in there because you're going to be murdered. You're not going to be murdered. This is a murdered. normal store for normal people, Shelby. People love to come to my incredibly normal store for the incredible No, it's called Supermarket, but actually, the name that we have is Live, Laugh, Loaf. I did not mean to put the cereal in that way. No, well. Did not want the cereal to take up two sections there. Oops. All good. We got pasta. We got pasta. I bought too much pasta. All right, pasta goes over here. I don't have storage available yet, so. What is this, flour? Flour? I can put flour up here. I need flour. Why you are you recycling your boxes? I don't know. God. Oh, I did buy two. I did buy at least two boxes. All right, sick. Uh, because waste is good, actually, Shelby. Oh, I bought a lot of boxes of this cereal. All right. I did not mean to buy that many. Oh, well. We have enough now. Uh, more flour. More flour. More flour. Yeah, at least that makes sense with the oil. Um, oil and flour. Oil more flour. I did not mean to buy this many. Uh, put this flour down over here. We know it's there. Uh, what this else did I buy? There store. we go. This is not a sketchy little murder it's store. Little That's a murder fucked up store. thing to st say about my mom and pop business. Live, laugh, loaf, Shelby. This is fucked up. I can't believe you'd say this about my shit. Three dollars. How's this doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're undercutting everybody. Oh, hello, child. Uh, what flower? What the flower price? Uh, we're just gonna go three dollars for the flower. Don't yell at me. Yell That's rude as hell. Don't yell at me. Four dollar flower. Who wants it? You see this face? She's fine. I She's gave her hunger. treats. I gave her treats. She's hunger. I gave her treats. She hunger. is fine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. She did not want to be held anymore. You hear her go where? I heard her go where. I'm went setting went. prices. It's not my fault if she goes where. She went where. I know she went where. All right, looking good. We got oil. We got flour. We got cereal. We got cereal. Mm-hmm. We? We? Store's open. Come into my store. I have everything that you would ever want. I have everything that you would love, that you would want. Come into my store. This is my store. I'm having a good time. I'm sitting at the checkout counter and looking at my phone. Oh, yeah. Looking at my phone. Oh, yeah. Checking every media site that I have. Checking on the Twitter and the Facebook. Looking at my phone down here where nobody can see it. Hi, welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Here. Just gonna... Just looking. Oh, please, no. Did you find everything you were looking for? Awesome. Oil and cereal. Fucked up. Oh, no change. Get out of here. You get to look at your phone because you own the store. True. Uh, sorry, one second, sir. I'd love to help you out, but uh, I gotta go write schedules, so... Uh, damn it, I'm not a manager yet. I can't do this. Hi. Yep. Damn, this is so sad. I can't hide in the back room and write schedules. This is fucked up. Come into my store and enjoy all of my accoutrements. I have so many things for you to buy at my store. Ha, ha. Come into my store and enjoy all the things that I have available for you. It is so very cool. Saving up money so I can buy a fridge. A dollar. Yeah, I'm the counter gremlin. I'm sorry. I'm the checkout gremlin. 
Bye. Have a great day. Hope you have a great... Hey, hope you have a great day. Hey. Hope you have a great day, sir. Enjoy. 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 No, you enjoy. No, I'll enjoy my break later when I get lunch. <laughs> no, enjoy. 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 Hey, how's it going? What can I do for you today? Awesome. My name is Brendan. I can't wait to help you. Two boxes of cereal. All right, let me grab the change there. Awesome. A dollar and change. Well, you know what they say. A dollar saved is a dollar earned. You have a great day, sir. Enjoy. Enjoy your day. Have a great day, sir. Awesome. 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 Hey, how's it going? What can I get for you today? Just a couple of boxes of cereal. Cool, cool, refreshing. Awesome. Oh, credit card. All right, let me just scan this right. Now, the price was a million dollars, right? <laughs> no way. Uh, don't worry. You have a great day, ma'am. Have a great day. Enjoy your day, ma'am. Hope you have a great day. How's it going? Buying some bread? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are you thinking about getting any uh, getting any bread accessories today with that? No, no bread accessories, no jellies, no jams. All right, just some cereal. You're making cereal sandwiches? <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, let me just get this out for you. 50 cents. You enjoy. Have a great day, ma'am. You have a wonderful day. You put a smile on my face whenever I help, uh, help out a customer. A little bit of flour, huh? What are you doing? Making a bomb. What? Take my money now. Okay. We just we just take that from you. You d You should you sh okay. You have a have a great day, ma'am. Have a great same sweater. Same sweater. Same sweater. Same sweater. I'm losing it. 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 I'm fucking losing it. I. This is what I would buy. This is my order at the grocery store. That's what I would buy. I would buy pasta and oil. This is fucked. We're wearing the same sweater. His is reversed. He's evil Brendan. He's wearing the opposite version of my sweater. This is fucked. I don't. Did I meet the- is this, is this evil me? I feel like I should fuck it up and charge him an extra penny. You know what? No, I'm gonna undercut him. Damn it, I have to put in the exact amount. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I have to put in the right price? This sucks. I wanna fuck it up. I wanna fuck it up. I wanna charge him extra. I wanted to charge him a hundred dollars. Holy f- Okay. Alright, you're a big shopper, huh? Big bopper, big shopper. Holy- Okay. Big shopper, big bopper. I get that. Large shoppers today, huh? Holy fucking goddamn. 4 p.m. really is the big shopper hour, ain't it? Oh my god. Interesting. Big shopper, big slopper. We love to shop, we love to bop, we love to slop. You know what's really great about this game? Is that I can eat my burrito while I play it. Oh, it's wrapped up too. That's a fat burrito. And Chad, I will tell you, I haven't had... I haven't had a live... I haven't had a burrito... One second. Can I pause? Thank you. I will tell you, Chad. I haven't had a... I haven't had a burrito. In a while. Right. I haven't had a burrito in a while. That's a big burrito. I don't know if this is a good one though, because it's from a new place, so I don't I don't know if it's a good burrito, but and now that's a burrito. Now that's a burrito. Let's see. Could be a little more wet. Brendan, could you do a soy jack point at the burrito? Oh, like this, like a... Hmm. I like a burrito. I do. It was pretty good. A little dry. A little dry, but pretty good. Oh, I dropped chicken all over myself. Oh. I got it, though.
It's not Chipotle. It's from a local place. Face cam Brendan is a whole new animal. I like eat the burrito. It came with green sauce, but I don't like green sauce. Give Hayes a bite. Not edible. Not food. That's not food. That's Hayes. That's not food. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Give Hayes a bite. Oh. You want a little, you want a little burrito? He doesn't want it. He's not hungry. He's not food. He's not hungry. He doesn't want food. He wants to haze. There we go. I got a chicken burrito. Pretty good. I haven't had a burrito in a while. It's just genuinely pretty good. Please don't take embarrassing screenshots of me eating food. I'll cry. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good borite. You're the one filming it? It doesn't matter. Eating this burrito will never come back to haunt me. There's no way you can make eating a burrito come back to haunt me. Right? Be like, look at this dude. He's eating a burrito wrong. And it's like, I'm I'm just eating the burrito. I don't. I am not worried about this. is why I'm like, I'm not worried about this in the slightest. There is no way you can make eating burrito come back to haunt me. I just got the biggest. <laughs> I got the biggest like bite of cilantro. I got like, I got like the biggest bite of cilantro. The second I was like, there will be no consequences for this burrito. I've been into like just a, like a mound of cilantro. Which is fine normally, but it was like a whole mound of it. And I'm, oh my God, I like transcended for a moment. Do you have this cilantro taste like soap, Gene? No, I just, I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't prepped for like a big mound of cilantro. Mm, pretty good burrito. I think cilantro is fine. Doesn't like fuck me up or anything. Oh, but like, I wasn't ready for it, and I gotta be like ready for it. This burrito is not evenly distributed at all. I think it's like a mid, better than Taco Bell, and it's still like a restaurant burrito. But like, I'd probably want this wet if I went to the restaurant, right? I like a wet burrito. I want that burrito wet, right? But it was free. Not really, since my wife paid for it. It was like free for me, technically, but we still paid for it. No. 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 Down. No. No. Beals. No. She wants burrito. Can't let her have it. She wants burrito and I, I can't let her have it. Oh, I just spilled it everywhere. Oh my God. I like that this is the internet now. I remember when I streamed like eight years ago, people were like, don't eat on cam. That's fucking disgusting. Don't fucking do that. Now it's like, please eat on cam. I want to see the inside of your mouth, please. It's like, you know, Things change, man. 
Things change. Ready, can we go into your mouth? No, I'm not putting my mouth around my camera. That's not happening. No. Brendan, can you put the camera in your mouth? No. That's an expensive camera. The camera is more valuable than my life. It was like six hundred dollars. Let me see those cavities. I don't have cavities. Those are cheap fillings. All of my teeth are replaced or filled in. I don't have any cavities. Those are silver fillings. Brady, can you give the camera a big smooch? No. I my burrito. It was pretty good. Now I'm thinking about the burrito. And I'm like, you know... Six, bad dental hygiene? Well, yeah, like I grew up poor. What am I supposed to do about it? I have good dental hygiene now. I brush twice a day. Hi. Camera's on. Yeah, that's right. You got scared. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm wearing makeup. I can't see you. Hi, Dad. Get out of here. I'm wearing makeup today. Get out of here. Ha! Get out of here. You're the only voice acting YouTuber who hasn't done ASMR content, Brendan? Yeah, because I don't care. It's fucking awful. It's disgusting. I fucking hate it. I hate the sounds. Can you finally eat a big pizza on the stream? I don't know. Maybe. One of these days, maybe. We'll think about it. Let me get that small. Let me zoom that in, and then get rid of that. What do you say? There were burrito reactions in the Discord. Do I got to go look at the Discord now? I gotta go into stream chat and look at the burrito reactions. <laughs> Let me pull these up. No, that's the wrong. That's not the right image. There we go. There's no way eating a burrito will come back to haunt me. <laughs> Live haze reaction. Oh God, I'm, I'm going back to my, I'm going back to my retail job here. I'm going back to supermarket slime. And also, yeah, none of those pictures are going to haunt me for the rest of my days. Like, there is one picture that will haunt me for the rest of my days, and it's literally just the banner of the R Mildly Infuriating subreddit, and that's it. Anything else is just extra. Nine fifty. Well, Bag Ninja doesn't haunt me. Bag Bag Ninja, I find do I, I find to be funny. It should haunt me, but it's not going to haunt me. Bag Ninja's funny. Lights on. Nosferatu. Hi. Would you like to buy some thing? Hi. Would you like to buy some stuff? If people had footage of me eating, I'd be despised by the international community. I mean, fair. I haven't really eaten anything, eat, eaten, eaten anything today. Aside from, like, a yogurt earlier, so. That's my, like, one food. Saving up all my extra, my extra yummy, like, calories in my calorie deficit so I can have one burrito today. Oh, money. Oh, yes. Why am I, like, only selling to, like, eccentric businessmen? Oh, my God, they're ripping all the cereal off the shelves. They're just ripping all the cereal off the shelves. These guys fucking hate me. And the bread. Buying for big business, huh? Interesting. Can you not come into my store like one minute before close and then make the largest purchase ever? Get the fuck out of here. Businessmen business have to buy things. They have to walk into the store one minute before close. It's all about business. Make Radical business, dude. Really business so hard. $24. 
Get out of here. Yeah, we were out of the cereal you wanted. Out of my store. Get out of my store. Oh, oh. Uh, what are we? Susu. I like that this is named after, like, a Sims. It's like, Susu. Epliconderoid. Bobble Herbie. Hips now. Sneeba. Day's over. We take a little... Did I have any bills? I should check my bills, huh? Do I have any bills? I have a bill. 50 cents. Whoa. And I gotta pay rent. Jeez. Daily rent? What is this shit? Who the fuck? What kind of a landlord makes you pay daily rent? What the fuck, dude? You wanna live here today? That'll be $20, Buster. What the... What? Ba 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 ba. Brendan, are you inverted? I don't know what that means. Am I upside down, side to side? Like I what? Am I Brenverted? Like the game inversion that I played weeks ago? Are, are, people, are people still what? You okay? <laughs> uh, I need to be able to buy. I need. I need. I need fridges. Today is a fridge day. Today is a cheese day. Oh god, I'm gonna spend all my money on cheese and milk, aren't I? Just like real life, for real, for real. Oh god, today's a cheese day. How do I rotate it? There we go. That the right way? Sick! Kind of a cheese day, not gonna lie. Cheese and milk, kind of, kind of a dairy day, you know. We're thinking about it. We're thunking on it. Kind of a dairy day. That's a lot of milk. I thought. I thought. Damn, I'm gonna have leftover milk. Is it gonna go sour? You know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. People love warm milk. They're gonna love warm milk tomorrow. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Tomorrow, people are gonna get the the old cheese and the lovable curmudgeonly milk, and uh, they're gonna love it. Not gonna lie, people are gonna love old milk. I'm gonna have milk on sale. It's gonna be old milk on sale. Soluble milk, milk on sale. Two dollars for milk. What about cheese? It's these aren't even good prices. Milk and cheese and oil and flour. Come on down to my store. Milk and cheese and bread and eggs and milk and cheese and eggs. Bread and milk and cheese and eggs and bread and milk and eggs. Milk and cheese and bread and cheese and bread and cheese and eggs. Come to my store. Mmm, chew yeah, chewy milk. We love a little bit of chewy milk. Come to my store and come buy some of my milk. I am. I'm the milky oh god, I'm the I I I'm the milking streamer, aren't I? No. Don't say it. Don't say it. I'm selling milk, aren't I? I'm the milkman, aren't I? Buy my milk. Buy my cheese. Buy my cereal. Man's is going bopper shopper. Man's going on a bopping run. How many groceries did you buy? Hungry little guy. He's making grilled cheese. He's so fucking excited. He's going to be making grilled cheese. That's the best part about our grocery store now. Now people in the area could go on a grilled cheese spree. Bread and pasta. Awesome. $19 grocery card. Who wants it? I think I bought a lot of bread, I'm not gonna lie. There's too many slices. There was far too many slices. I do need soda. I do, I do. I am thinking about- I, I gotta be expanding the grocery store soon. We gotta be thinking about this, log logistically. <laughs> Let me guess. House fire? 
house fire. That's what I thought. Of course, that's why he's paying with a 50. Of course. Enjoy. Let me guess. House fire? It's always a house fire. It's always a house fire. Let me guess. Pasta fire? We really got to stock White Claw for the neighborhood. Yeah, this is true. We got to start stocking sugary treats and sugary sweets for the neighborhood and a lot of White Claw. We need a lot more White Claw. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, yummy. Mm, Six dollars. Yummy. Oh my god, look at all this cereal. You stocking up for this cereal convention? Awesome. Where'd you get that cereal, huh? The cereal store? Wait a minute. I'm the cereal store. No! I don't think I buy food from a store this small ever. I'd innately not trust it. Why? Big cities have little shops like this all the time. It's like a little bodega, right? You got like bodega culture. Mine isn't a murder store. It's a charming little bodega. Shelby, it's not a murder store. Only three people died here. The blood is cleaned up. There are no bodies left. They even took the chalk outlines. I have a sign on the fucking door that says no true crime podcasts allowed inside my store. This is not a murder store anymore. It was a murder store. It's not a murder store. I'm turning it around. No. The light fixtures are finicky. I don't like the lights. It's not a murder store. Shelby, it's not a murder store. Stop calling it that. My wife is calling this a murder store. What do you think, sir? Is this a murder store? I'm gonna kill me. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Okay, have a great day, sir. Brandon, would you eat Fruit Loops on a hot dog? No. Instantaneously, no. Three big bags of flour, huh? What are you cooking up? A big cake? This isn't a murder store. They took the bodies out. They cleaned up the blood. I have a sign right there that says, No true crime podcasts allowed. You cannot come onto the premises. I will eject you. Only three people died here, and they couldn't conclusively determine that it was a murder. All right. Shelby, they could not conclusively determine that the three dead people found here was, in fact, a triple homicide. Um, they could have died in a myriad of different ways. They, they, they determined that it was an accident, Shelby. They fell on those ritual daggers, Shelby. They fell on them. The, Shelby, they had a whoopsie, Shelby. It was determined by the police. The police came to the store and they said, this is a whoopsie. We're calling it. We're calling it a whoopsie. That's a po official police lingo. All right. They said it. They said, this is what we in the police business call a whoopsie. And then it was a whoopsie and it was all taken care of and it was all by the book. This was a whoopsie for the layman, a layman who wouldn't understand this was a whoopsie and we are fine. We, abs we absolve all legal responsibility and culpability. Three people died. They fell on ritual daggers. Their blood pooled around the room and may in fact have summoned like a colossal creature from the great beyond. We don't worry about that. We don't think about that. We don't talk about that. It was a whoopsie, an official whoopsie, an official whoopsie report was filed. The those people, their families, they were notified. They were told about this. The whoopsie was internalized. What about the guy under the floorboards? We don't worry about him. His name is Jeremy. He just lives there. He's a cool guy. Sometimes he pops up and he gives me a free coin. It's not a normal coin. It's a weird kind of coin from a realm beyond our own. And I don't worry about him. He just lives under the floorboards and has a great time. Sometimes he comes in, he buys a bottle of oil, and then he rubs it all over himself. This is what it's like owning a grocery store. We don't need lights. You know what, though? I'm going to turn them on. Because it is just kind of getting annoying. So, lights on. Case filed under W for whoopsie. See, somebody in the chat fucking gets it. This was a whoopsie moment. Real whoopsie hours, real whoopsie moments.
9 p.m. The whoopsies are done. Did you like your oil, Jeremy? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He loves it. See, do you hear him? He loves his oil. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, it's 9 p.m. Sorry, sir, we're closed. Fine. All right, I guess. If you're buying, if you're buying some oil, I guess, that's fine. I mean, technically, we are closed. All right, hello, ma'am. I mean, it's past closed. Like, are... The time has stopped. I didn't know customers could keep coming in. Uh, one bag of flour? Sure. Are we done now? No more customers, right? Damn, this is a bad day. We lost a lot of shish. We did not make a lot of profits. We spent too much money on upgrading. Uh, we gotta look at our bills, our daily rent. Oh my god, I gotta pay my daily rent, my daily bills. Oh my god, my electricity bill is through the fucking roof, Buster. Okay. Add one of these. Add one bread. Add one flour. Add one oil. Add one pasta. Add one susu. Uh, bottled water. Add one cheese. This goes on the shelving, so we'll add a coffee. We'll add a milk. And that'll be it. There's our money for the day, alright? A lot of different products, a lot of viable- Oh, there's the tower! Alright, uh, milk is- I don't know why I bought more milk. I have no idea why I bought more milk. I did not need more milk. It's gonna be an old milk day tomorrow, isn't it? Fuck. It's fine, it's fine, whatever. I don't even care if we have an old milk day tomorrow. I don't give a shit. We want more different and varied products, okay? I don't give a- I don't give a damn if we have an old milk day tomorrow. I don't fucking care. I think I fucking care if we have an old milk day tomorrow. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even upset. Can I take that? Okay, awesome. Oh, that box doesn't match the size. The yields do not meet the goal. Here's our normal cereal. Price is still set. Awesome. Here's the susu. We gotta take a little bit. Let's take that susu out of there. Hope they didn't, like, run over one of my boxes and then send them off into the void. Didn't sell a lot of cheese, did we? We're gonna have old cheese tomorrow, aren't we? Damn. Really don't want to have old cheese, but that's the way it bees. Ah, uh, damn. I need another fridge for the bottle of water. I can't just sell a bottle of water. I gotta... I have a brand new day for that, but we're stocking coffee now. Coffee's a big spender. People love coffee. See, oh my god, market price? Uh, we're going eight bucks, babe. Eight dollars. No, fuck you. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Bump up the price of that coffee. Ooh-wee. Oh god, look, the, the store's looking a little bare, isn't it? Looking a little, looking a little bare, ain't it? Oh god. Looking like that Disney movie, Little Bear, ain't it? Looking a little Little Bear, ain't it? Okay, alright. Fucked day, fucked day today, fucked day. Uh, saving money so we can stock more product. Fucked day today, tomorrow will be better, tomorrow will be better. The owner of a business, tomorrow will be better, tomorrow will be better, tomorrow will be better, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Shut up, Jeremy, stop whispering. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, I'm gonna have a great day. Smile on my face. Smile on my face. Alright, gonna be a great day. Gonna be an excellent day. You sell bears at this store? No, I haven't been able to buy the Teddy Grahams yet. Eventually, I will have Teddy Grahams, though. Don't you love Teddy Grahams? Don't you love putting a, I don't know, getting a handful of Teddy Grahams, putting them in your hand, and then letting them sit in your mouth so they can get nice and moistened? We love Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams are cool. Hi there, ma'am. Recently, prices at the local area have increased. I'd like to ask you, would you like a product warranty on this cheese? No? That's fine. She doesn't want the cheese warranty. She doesn't want the cheese warranty. She has no idea what world I'm going to- what, what havoc I'm going to wreck. She didn't even want the cheese warranty. No cheese warranty. Seventeen dollars. We're winning. We're selling coffee. 
Oh, that's too much money. Well, uh, shut. Yeah, I know that. I I already learned that. You don't got to tell me that now. Jeez. When are they going to add the ability to make it so that we offer a store credit card? Because that's really what I want. Because we're going to get really sick of like taking the processing fee for people's like Mastercard or Discover card. Oh yeah, you sure you don't want to use cash? All right, have a great day, sir. Sorry, surge pricing. The price of cheese is now a hundred dollars. Sorry, surge pricing. Surge pricing. Cheese is now one hundred dollars. Hundred dollar cheese, hundred dollar cheese, hundred dollar cheese. Come and buy my one hundred dollar cheese. Hundred dollar cheese, hundred dollar cheese. The cheese is too expensive. No, it's not. Shut up. Ninety nine dollar cheese. It's on sale. Ninety nine dollar cheese. It's on sale. Come on, buy my $99 cheese. It's on sale. $99 cheese. $99 cheese. I want cash. $99 cheese. The cheese is too expensive. Oh, shit. $98 cheese. $98 cheese. Is it good now? Is $98 a good price? No, this is bullshit. You should have bought my $98 cheese. All right, they're not buying the cheese. They're not falling for it. Back to $3 cheese. A very good price for very good cheese. Now it's clearance cheese. You'll buy my cheese. I love my clearance cheese. Don't talk to me before I've had my big pack of clearanced out Velveeta. I love eating Velveeta right by the rectangle. I rip it out of the package. I love eating Velveeta by the rectangle. It's one of my favorite bits. Buy my clearance cereal. It's been sitting around four days. Nobody is buying it. Nobody wants my Lay's. I don't even have potato chips yet. Put a picture of your children in the store and Photoshop them to look hungrier. Guilt the customer into spending more. Please buy my products or my 15 children will starve. Please buy my products. See, look at this now. Now they love that the cheat. I've tricked them. I've, I've, I, this is my plan, my, my Joker's trick. Raise the cheese exorbitantly high. And then lower the price of the cheese. thinking of strategies. I'm thinking of stratagems. Enjoy your day, sir. Up, up, down, up. Enjoy that resupply, sir. Up, up, down, right. Up, up, down, right to you, suit. Welcome to Super Earth Superstore. Hope you enjoy all your products, all your fine accoutrements. They're gonna drop a hell pot in the vicinity because these prices are outrageous. I'm divining, I'm divining evil intent from all of my customers. They are filled with vile energy. Dropping a hell bomb right on your location. Up left, down left. Can't wait into the future where we all talk in D-pad terminology. In the future, none of us will talk English. None of us will speak any languages. We'll just speak the button imprompts from the original PlayStation 1 controller. X to you too, sir. No, no, cross. It's the cross button. Don't say X. That's fucked up. You say cross. Hey, card. Mmm. Money. Triangle cross cross. I hate that it's called the cross button, by the way. It's just an X. Mmm. Quarter circle forward input to you, sir. Down right left. Backslash to you. Are we done? This is an okay day. We need to be able to buy more products. We um we had a spot for this water. I just didn't realize it. I'm stupid. This whole time we did have a spot for the water. This is so silly of me. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. 
My price is outrageous and I'm just a silly guy. My store is closed. Why are you coming in? Oh no, it's I didn't set it to close, did I? Well, I guess, I mean, if they want to buy stuff past clothes, I mean, far be it for me, a local business owner, to stop there. Oh, good. Butler water? Oh, enjoy your butler water. Now they're coming in to buy butler water? Oh, a butler water for you. Enjoy, my friend. I mean, you came in at clothes to buy bread and oil, so... Bear... How much for- hey! Oh, looking to buy, sir? Alright. You guys, uh, picking up a couple things? Cool, 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 cool. Let's, uh, just, uh, grab a couple of things here. Need some milk and some, uh, cereal? Yeah, what's, uh, what's the price? Five... Thousand dollars! I don't even know if I have the right- I- I don't even know if I have the right thing on. Did I turn the echo off? All right, I can fix it now. Hey, how much is this milk? Seven million dollars. There we go. Maybe that fixed it. Can you please leave? My store is closed. Please stop buying things from me. My store is closed. Get out of my store, please. I gotta close. I gotta close before more customers come in. They're ruining me. Hey, Price Master, how much is a sponge? Five hundred thousand dollars. Brendan, you're not rotating your stock. I'm supposed to rotate it? Okay. Was that good? Did I rotate it properly? Is that how you rotate it? Get it? Because I... <laughs> All right, end the day. How'd we do? We got old milk. We got new milk. We got old milk and we need to buy some cheese. We got old milk. We got some cheese. We got old milk. We got some cheese. Now, I need everything. Rotate your stock, Brendan. Rotate it. I'm rotating it. I'm rotating it. I'm rotating it. I'm doing it. Am I doing it well? I'm rotating it. I'm rotating it. Is this enough for you? Is my stock rotatular? <laughs> Lot of good things to do in the grocery store. We're having a great time. Time putting all my pasta down, and we're thinking about more groceries. <laughs> Let me check out the tea. We love to put down some tea. Holy shit, you can double stack it. Tea's worthy. I love tea. I love flour. Spill the tea, spill the flour. Tell me about your hot office work, uh, gossip chat. Tell me what kind of gossip is happening at your work. What's the, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the workplace, what's the, what's the person in your workplace who, who's talking shit, saying lately, chat? Tell me about it. I want to know what, I don't know, I want to know what hot goss is in your area. What kind of shit are they saying? They on some crazy shit, I know, but like, what kind of crazy shit are they on? I need more susu. My coworker keeps getting attacked by animals. I, awesome. <laughs> cool. One more tea. Why does the tea look like fancy, expensive perfume? I don't know, because it's fancy tea. Uh, what should the price of tea be? 550 they'll never throw me in the harbor now you're a fool if you think i'm going into the harbor i'm not falling for this shit the british fell for it i'm not falling for it all right we stacked our extras we could probably buy one more thingus mm, interesting interesting what else do we buy interesting what's cheap 
more rancid cereal. Oh, no, not enough money. I need to pay shipping, too. More pasta. Stock more pasta, Brendan. People love their pasta. People pop off at the pasta. People popping at pasta. When I buy Among Us SpaghettiOs... Oh, shit! That's the imposter! Thank you. Um, we good, I think. Spend all my money on product. We're good. Let's open up. We have a lot of things for you to come and buy. Please enjoy my store and enjoy my slime. Did I settle the prices for everything? Nothing is up. Must be free. All right, good. Boo! 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 You can boo me all you want! It won't stop me! I don't know what kind of face that was. I'm sorry. That scared me, actually. I got a little afraid of that. That's, I didn't know who that was. I looked into the camera for a second, and I was like, who was that? That scared me for a second. I can't do that again. Brendan, how much would I need to tip you as a cashier to fart into the intercom? I'm not doing that. Somebody's going to get pink eye that way. Well, the store PA system is usually, in most stores, you have to call a phone to be able to access it, and that's just a phone that's going to get used constantly. So either I'm going to give somebody else pink eye, or I'm going to give myself pink eye. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not in the business of farting into the telephone, so you can hear my cheeks clap 500 miles away, all right? One time at Best Buy, um, there were a couple of customers in the store who, like, were not leaving. It was, like, ten minutes after close, and it was being closed by, uh, we were closing with my customer service manager, and she was, she was kind of chill. Um, she let me get away with, like, you know, goofing off a little bit. Um, so I asked her, can I do a PA announcement to let them know the, know the store is closing? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. Just make it sound fake. So I called the store's PA on, in, in Best Buy, and I was like... <laughs> Hello, valued customers. Best Buy is closed. Please make your final purchases and leave. And I was like, if they're not leaving in five minutes, I'm going to do it again. They left, but I was thinking about it. I was like, they didn't leave. I was going to do it again. I was going to be way more rude about it. Put on some of that robotic sleaze. I love the joining a Daniel stream. It's the best roulette game of what you might hear. I mean, yeah, I always talk about that. When you join the stream, you have no idea what I'm going to be talking about. It's like a little lottery. It's like a little jackpot. The only thing you can be sure of is you have no idea what's going to be going on. You just know that something is probably going to be happening. Ready? Can the music in your store be Fortnite music, please? It will make you cool. Oh, yeah, sure. One sec. Let me, uh... Yeah, let me set up. You know what? We need, we need some store music, right? Um, yeah, it's all good. I got it. Setting up some, uh, setting up some store music in the intercom here. This way the customers will have something to enjoy. There we go. 1850. They're going to love this. Customers are going to love the sounds of this as they enter. No, I got it. The store music is playing. Don't worry about it. They're gonna love this. Just wait until the customers hear the beat drop, though. Gonna blow their mind, dude. <laughs> customers love this. They love coming into this store. They love coming into the store. 
They just love coming. I'm playing this into the intercom, yeah. They love hearing it. <laughs> I'm not playing fart step anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm not playing. I'm better than fart step. I'm not playing fart step anymore. I'm not doing it. Oh, uh, cheese and coffee and slime. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can feel the brain cells in me dying. One dollar. Enjoy. Couldn't find flour. Come on, it's right. Uh, how many flour? I have one bag. Is she coming back in? She's like, holy shit, they got flour. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got flour? Everybody in this store has pink eye now. Yeah. It's fine. I'm going to be adding antibiotics to the shelf soon, so. Don't want to be a bubby. Don't want to be a bubby at all. I'm not worried about it. Brendan, will you ever accuse any of the customers of fail RP? I don't know what that means. I don't understand what that means. I don't fathom that. I'm sorry. Me, I wish my ass could fathom what you just said there, but I don't fathom it. I'm not going to fathom it. Yeah, I'm not fathoming that. I'm sorry. Did somebody say Fortnite Gooner memes earlier. What's the one fucking like? What? Guys, what if Raven Team Leader had an emote where she took her fucking pants off and she fucking farted? A real video that somebody made. Oh, damn, it's not a <laughs> great time for a raid. Hey, thanks for the raid. Thanks for the raid, Rick Swaz. I appreciate it. <laughs> great time to walk into the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 50. I gotta break a 50. Bullshit. Get out of here. <laughs> Brennan just says that in front of the customer. Yeah. These are all regulars. I can I can say whatever I want in front of these guys. The fuck out of my store. Get the fuck out of my store. Get the fuck out of my store. Yeah, fine. I'll sell you garbage. Thanks. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Now get the fuck out of my store. Out of my store. I gotta I gotta go. I have a cigarette break. I'm on a cigarette. I'm on a cigarette break right now. Don't come into my fucking don't come into my fucking home. I'm on a cigarette break right now. I'm just, don't, don't even come into my fucking store. I'm not selling you shit. It's on a cigarette break right now. Good. Don't come into my fucking store. Don't you fucking do it. Just smoke inside of the store. I can never do that. That'd be fucked up. I would never be able to do that. I'm on a cigarette break right now. Don't talk to me. Don't come into my store. Don't even don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think I'm not even helping you. No. You can you can come in. You can do whatever you want. I'm on a cigarette break right now. Right? Yeah, you can buy whatever you want. I'm on a cigarette break right now. I don't care. I do not care. Buy whatever you want. Pick up whatever you want. I'm not coming over to, there to help you. I'm on a cigarette break. You can come into my store too, huh? I dare you to stand... Wait wait in line. No, wait in line. Yeah, a customer's waiting. Good. I'm on a cigarette break. I'm not worried about this. I'm not doing this shit. I'm on a break right now. I'm on a cigarette break. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm on a 15. I'm counting. I'm on, I'm on a timer right here. I'm counting. I'm on a 15 minute cigarette break right now. I'm not coming into the store, all right? I'm not fucking doing it. Oh, yeah, please, sir, will you come in and check me out? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm on a cigarette break. I can't do this shit right now. If you want me to you know, help yourself, just take it and leave. Store's closed anyway. Get out of here. No, I'm not. I'm not coming in. I, I said 15. It hasn't even been two minutes yet. Please help me. 
please check me out. No, 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 no. I'm on a cigarette break here. I'm not helping you out. You want me to come in there and help you out? I'm on my determined 15-minute break at the end of the day, and then I got to restock shelves. Not happening, Buster. You want me to stop smoking a cigarette in the middle of my shift? No, no, no. You come out here and you tell me. You tell me what you think about that, huh? Tell me what you think of this store, huh? I'm on a cigarette break. I own this store. This is my store. I can stop working and just start smoking when I want to. All right, fine. I'll help you out. Retail face, retail face. Hey, thank you for coming to the store. Oh, my God. What are we picking up here today? Oh, my God. You a little boss a little bit of cereal. Oh, my God. All right, you have a great day now. Have a great night. Whoa, what do you got here? Oh, my God. Oh, $14.50. Oh, my God. Have a great day. Yeah, so anyway, fucking... What a good store. What would you do if somebody came up to you on your break and sucker socked you? I would not be wearing my uniform. Whenever I was on break at Best Buy or at GameStop in my seven years of retail, I would immediately take off any identifiers. No, not happening. I'm not having customers talk to me while I'm on my mandated break. It's not happening. Nope. I am so sorry. Um, you can find somebody else to help you. I, I don't give a shit. The second I'm on a break, uh -uh. I'm not wearing any kind of uniform or any identifying markers. Like, I am not... I'm not going to be rude or anything. I'm not going to be like, hey, fuck off, I'm on break. I'm going to be like, hey, I'm on break. Uh, 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 let me see if I can get somebody else for you. Like, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm not going to be rude to a customer when I worked in a retail store, but like... My face when you would help the guests find their product no matter what? <laughs> Hell no! Fuck, absolutely not. When I'm on the clock, absolutely yes. When I'm off the clock, hell no. That's my time. You gotta learn to manage that shit, otherwise you lose your mind. Retail employees who give too much lose their fucking mind. They fall into the void, trust me. You cannot give too much in retail, otherwise you die. Somebody with seven years of retail experience, the best advice I ever, I ever, I ever realized I could give to somebody going into retail is don't give your all. Give the minimum amount that you need to give to make sure you don't get in trouble. I'd stay up, straight up set an alarm and fall asleep in the break room during lunch. I would never fall asleep. I'd just be like, this is my break. I am on break. If somebody needs something, that's too bad. I'm on break. But once I'm off break, I'll get right back into it. And if somebody else can't help the customer and they can't wait for me, uh, I'm on break. Calculated mediocrity. Yeah. I mean, hey, if you want me to do well, uh, incentivize it. When I worked at Best Buy, my best, like, month there was they incentivized good performance for a little bit. It was awesome. We got, like, gift cards and won, like, raffles and shit. Then they stopped doing that. And I was like, all right, well, I'll give you exactly what I need to give you to not get in trouble. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. Right, have you seen what the application process is for retail jobs now? Those 150-question personality tests where you have to answer questions like, do you hate free time and do you love working under extreme stress? I mean, those have always been around. I don't know how far they go now, but whenever I used to, whenever I used to apply for like retail work, it would always be like the weird personality test where it's like, oh fuck, how do I answer this? How do I answer this? What what is the right answer to give? What do they want from me? Do they want me to be a sociopath, or are they are they see are they seeking sociopaths, or are they not looking for sociopaths? What do they want from me? It's just the way the crookie cumbles. Need cheese, need milk, need coffee. Do I have a space for eggs? I could, I could get eggs. Need eggs. Um. Purchase this for now and then we'll see where we're at. Need a shelf for eggs. There we go. Personality test. Do you like working in a family environment? Personality test. Do you think your coworkers as a family? Is your is, do you think your coworkers like a family? Do you enjoy spending time with your coworkers as a family? Horrible, horrible, horrible things. Horrible nightmares. 
Do you like working in a fast-paced environment? Do you think your coworkers is a family? Horrible, 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 bad. All right, um, we got too much tea. We could buy more bread. We are running dangerously low on bread. Cereal. Any job that treats it like a family you don't want unless you can't afford life without it. True. I I respect the hell out of retail employees. I do. I do. I do. As somebody who's been in that hole, uh, I I always always. Whenever I go to any retail store, I salute at the uh, the cash register. Always. I respect the hell out of retail employees. They're God's strongest warriors. Two shelves of pasta. The U.S. should impl implement mandatory retail service instead of the draft. I mean, hey, mandatory retail service would make a lot of people more um, uh, empathetic, I think. Because then everybody gets to see how crazy people are out there in the real world. Uh, should I buy a bottle of water? Bottle of water? Bottle of water? Bottle of water? Mm, what can we stock more of here? I don't want to overstock is the thing, but we could buy more bottle of water. Yeah, that's good. More water, because people are liking water. Water is trending right now. We need to surge price the water. Mm, what else? Uh, we could buy another another bread. Bread's good. We love bread. Love bread! Oh. We need to get enough money to have a new product license soon, I believe. What else? What else? Uh, we could probably do another coffee, couldn't we? People do like to buy the coffee. Just trying to make sure the shelves are stocked for the day. And then what else? What can we double up on? We could probably double up on flour and oil and susu. And the other one... Yeah, I think they're good. Looking good. There goes all our money, but I think it's worth it. Oh, did I accidentally buy two boxes of cereal? Shit. No, no, no. I bought the susu. Bread. Flour was a big seller yesterday. True, true, true. So we better order more today. Am I right, gamers? Now, flour. Let's talk flour. We gotta have that flour buster. Let's talk oil. How about oil? Let's talk about oil. Awesome. You're doing great, champ. Doing awesome, bud. Hey, look at you, bud. Your store's doing great. And everybody loves you. Yeah. Yeah. You either come out of retail being nicer to workers, or you come out of psycho. It's weirdly polarizing. I mean, I came out both, so. You, it could be both. <laughs> I need to buy 18 packs of toilet paper. Hi there, welcome to my store. Hope you found anything you're looking for. Thank you for your money. I appreciate it greatly. Oh, here, let me give you $4.50. Oh, I almost forgot a dollar there. <laughs> Enjoy, have a great day. Love seeing you, love seeing you. Have a great day, ma'am. Oi. Coming to my store. Coming to buy my bread. Reasonable price on Wonder Bread. I'll be one side. I'm taking a cigarette break. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Here's your cheese. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
I can't sell cigarettes yet. I don't have the cigarettes unlocked yet. When are they going to let me sell a bunch of cigarettes and then I'll fill the store with only cigarettes? I thought this was a grocery store. It was. But now I can afford the cigarette license. I don't need anything else. Do you have any funny experiences when you worked retail? Oh. <laughs> oh. The problem with retail stories is like I genuinely don't remember most of my time in retail because it like I just I, I wormed it out of my head. So like I barely remember anything except for the really awful stories and I've told those so many times. I've told the I've, I don't want to talk about the roach stories ever again. I feel like we've already covered all of that. That's the problem with retail stories is like, yeah, everybody who's worked retail uh, for more than a year has a bunch of funny stories, but like, I can't remember them all. I gotta, I gotta like just fucking, I gotta just like center myself and not think about it. Otherwise I lose my mind. I got this for you. They didn't have Mountain Dew. Yeah, I did have, um, when I worked at Best Buy, I had a fan come in and, uh, they, they bought me a mellow yellow and they were like, Hey, Brendan. Friend Daniel, right? I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, I got this for you. You guys didn't have Mountain Dew. I was going to get you a Mountain Dew, but uh, yeah, I got you this instead. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have any good retail stories? Yeah, I just don't want to think about them. Also, thank you, Rage Bane Blade, for the Prime sub. I, uh, I, I... Like, I, it is, it is a, it is like a miasma of a billion different feeds of information. Uh, I, it's not that I don't have any retail stories, it's I have too many. And it takes me a while to parse through them, and then I don't remember most of them, because some of them were so ridiculous that they overshadow everything else. The stream right after you quit being a Valhalla stream is still so funny. True, true. We love that suffering begets suffering. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to think of something that's not horrible. I had a regular once bring me orange juice because he found out I was sick and working. That was neat. That was cool. Um, that's like the, one of the nice things I think about. That was a nice day at, 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 at uh, that was GameStop. That was a nice day at GameStop. I, I once had a coworker over here. Uh, I, had a, I had a coworker ask about my dad. Like they got really inquisitive about my childhood, and I was just talking about it a little bit, like not getting into too much detail. And then I had a coworker come up from behind and start talking about, yeah, uh, when I was a kid, my dad would burn cigarettes into my arms. Look, and then she showed showed us her arms, and they were just normal. There wasn't anything wrong with them. And then I found out that like her, her dad is actually just like an incredibly rich guy, and like bought her home and pays for everything for her, and she just like walks around work lying to everybody and that was a weird experience just meeting somebody who was like i i'm going to immediately butt into any conversation and lie about anything and everything that was weird i would say oh i did have an old guy uh try to recruit me to his barbershop quartet that's one. Um, I was working and he's like, hey, son, you got a nice voice. Here. And he handed me a business card for a church and he's like, if you ever want to join as a baritone or a bass, you just give us a call. We're looking for more people for a barbershop quartet. I was like, no, I, sorry, sir. I'm not interested. I don't have the time after work. And he would come in day after day for a whole week and ask me to join his barbershop quartet. And I was like, no, sir. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Um, I cannot join your barbershop quartet. And then he'd come in at least once a month and then just recap his medical problems to me. That was at Best Buy. That was at Best Buy. The, the barbershop quartet thing was at Best Buy. He would come in once a month and just tell me about all the different surgeries he was getting, which is what an old per uh, what I, I guess what an old people what an old people do. They tell you about their health, even if you don't ask. Had to tell me in detail about what his colonoscopy was going to be like. All the polyps. Learned a lot about polyps that day. Didn't want to learn about didn't didn't want to learn a lot about polyps that day, not gonna lie. <sighs> I 
I once diffused an angry old person who is like almost yelling at our uh, mobile team at Best Buy uh, because he had a uh, fuck. What was it? It was a uh, it was an older fantasy book called like Spellsinger that I'd read as a kid. He had it like in his hands. And so I diffused it by being like, oh, Spellsinger. Love that book. The guy smoked so much weed in that. And he stopped yelling and then he talked to me about books uh, for like uh, 40 minutes, 40 minutes to 50 minutes. Good diffusing. I was very good at diffusing things sometimes. But also, like, I learned the retail retail kung fu, which is if the customer is going to be mad no matter what, um, you call a manager. Not your not your problem. As a, as a, as a, as a boots-on-the-ground employee, the second a customer starts to get frustrated with you, you call a manager and let them handle it. It's their problem then. They're there to manage the people. If you are told, do not break store policy, and this person is angry that you will not break store policy, okay, well, I will get a manager, and they'll be right with you. Learn to delegate things to a manager really fast. Sucks for me when I'm the manager. I, I don't mind helping out with a manager, like, trying to, like, help smooth things over for them, unless they're the type of manager who is specifically thus. Because I've dealt with managers who are specifically thus a lot in my years of retail, which is... Sorry, Brendan, here's my numbers. Could you handle it? Maybe I got to write schedules and it's like, how, why does it take, why does it take, why does it take, why does it take five hours to write schedules? I know it doesn't. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way for a week, for like two weeks out. There's no fucking way. It takes more than like an hour or two. There's no fucking way. And I know that there's a program that does that shit too. There's no fucking way it takes that long to write schedules. No fucking way. You can't use that shit on me. I'm aware of the power of computers. I know about Excel, all right? I have Excel knowledge. I played EVE Online for three hours. I know about spreadsheets. That's the worst, I think. I fucking hate those. Sorry, bud. It's going to take me a while to write schedules. It's like, why? You have everybody's availability. And then it's like, yeah. And then it's like, oh, the schedule they wrote is the exact same as last week. I definitely get it if somebody needs, like, time off or if somebody's on vacation. Uh, if somebody quits, like, it being a little bit harder. But, like, there's there's no freaking way that it takes longer than, like, two hours maximum. That's the, uh, the manager's joker's trick, though. All right, we're done. We closed. Good day. Lots of money. Loads of money. Customers get so mad when you tell them you won't give them $5 off a $9 item just because they found it in the wrong spot. Oh, dude, I... Usually, if there is, like, a customer incident when I worked retail, I would be first line of defense when I worked customer service. Because I was two years of customer service at Best Buy, one year sales. And that year in sales, I did, like, everything. I would carry TVs out. I would do customer service. I would do sales. Because they were kind of doing the, oh, you got to work in every department kind of thing. And I was like, listen here. I will help in every department that needs it, but I'm not fucking around with mobile phone plans. I will do anything but fuck around with mobile phone plans. I am not getting into somebody's account and trying to, like, figure out how that shit works. Anything but. I was a terrible, terrible employee. I, <laughs> I was like, I will do anything but that. I will carry out 50 to 60, 75 inch TVs all day for people, but I will not. I swear to you, the one thing that I do not want to do. The one thing I do not want to do is fuck around on people's mobile phone plans for like an hour to two per customer. No, thank you. Bless up to people who have to work on other people's mobile phones because um, that's a nightmare. Yeah, did we spend all our money on that? Yeah, was it worth it? No. Did I do it anyway? Yeah. I wanted peanut butter. And a new kind of flour. And olive oil. Spaghetti! Spaghetti and meatballs. Never retail, but one of the best things any worker can learn is that you don't need to request time off. You need to tell them ahead of time you won't be available, and it's their problem to figure it out. Yeah, but, like, the problem is, is that's when the guilt tripping begins. Like, there are there are manager conferences that are all about how to emotionally manipulate your employees. Um, one, of the, one of my favorite manager tactics uh, that has been used on me that stopped working after my first year at Best Buy was, we're really going to need you to come in, Brendan. Uh, we can't do it without you. Brandon, we really need you to come in. You're going to have to find somebody to cover. Trick question. If somebody asks you to find somebody to cover, um, that's not your job to find coverage unless you're a manager. 
It's not your job to find coverage as the worker. If you are sick, it's not your job to fucking call coworkers. You can do it if you like your manager and if you want to help them out. Um, but that's their job. That's that's the job description. But also, yeah, I mean, there's the there's the guilt tripping and the emotional manipulation, and there's a whole there's a whole like there's a whole um theorem to this. Let's up to cool managers, though. I, I've had two cool managers before, and I really liked them. They they exist, I promise. My my GameStop manager, Justin, was a cool guy, and I loved working for him. Uh, and I only quit GameStop because he stopped working there, and he quit. And then Best Buy, I loved my customer service manager, which I also quit after she quit. So a good manager will keep me in a retail store. I'm sorry, Brendan. We asked everybody else. You know I wouldn't ask you if you didn't need you. My response is always, no, can't come in. Cameron, you don't know about my evil trip, my evil trick, which is um, my last year of working at Best Buy when it was my day off, I'd turn off my phone. If my mom needed me or if somebody needed me, Facebook, I'll have it open. Or I just won't check. I'm turning off my phone. I'm not dealing with this shit. It's my weekend. I'm not coming in. <laughs> Brittany, come on. Don't you want overtime? No, I don't need the money. I don't want to come in. No, thank you. Which is bad, you know, coworkers can be upset about that attitude too, which is understandable, but like, when I'm at work, I'm at work, and I, I, I give as much as I can. When I'm not at work, no, nah, no thank you. I'm at home, I, I gotta work on shit. I, I do not respond well to the guilt-tripping manipulation tactics that retail managers use. I fucking hate that shit. Going to start uh, fighting in the mosh pit. You will find me in the mosh pit with my fists out. What if we started manager guilt tripping you when you didn't want to stream? Yeah, but I'm always streaming. So like, <laughs> even when I should, even when I, even when I probably shouldn't be streaming, I'm streaming. Come on now. Not, a, I'm not breaking a hunt. You're silly. You're silly. You're silly. Hundred dollars. You're so silly. Ridiculous. I'm going to run out of change. They need to add going to the bank to this game to really drive people insane. Other streamers who haven't worked retail who are playing this is like a fun. I love working a supermarket. They need to add the horrors of war to this game. The horrors of having somebody come in with a hundred dollar bill at the beginning of your shift, right after you make change and get back from the bank, and then they immediately wipe out your goddamn cash register. We need the horrors of war. Yeah, I like to stream. I like doing. You don't need to guilt trip me. I love doing this. I love doing this. I'm sorry. I love being silly. They should add lying about not having changed for big notes. I do that shit all the time. Oh, 100%. Somebody, uh, when I worked GameStop especially, because we'd only have so much in change, if somebody wanted to come in with 100 right at the beginning of the day and buy like a $10 thing to break 100, he'd be like, I can't take 100 right now, man. Sorry. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm, oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot to set a price. Must be free. What did I forget to sell? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. What did I forget to set? Oh, God. I must be free the spaghetti. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Almost must be freed the spaghetti. I was freaking out. I was freaking out. Oh, hey, no price tag on the spaghetti buster. <laughs> must be free. Would you like anything else today, sir? Oh, only if you got a million dollars. Out of my store, 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 out of my store. Yeah, she in her bed. Spaghetti has a price now. There's a cost associated to spaghetti. Spaghetti has a price. You have to fall for it. Nah, the large bill is nothing. Put in awkward and creepy customer encounters. A large bill is something if you're a smaller store. If you're like a big box chain, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're like a smaller store with only about $200 in change in each register and somebody wants to break 100 at the beginning of the day, like, nah. No fucking way. Especially if like, especially if it's immediately followed by like a cash trade in at GameStop where somebody brings in games and wants cash for them. And it's like, dude, I have $100 in my registers right now because I just broke 100 No, there are a lot of stores where you literally, oh my god, you literally cannot break big bills at the beginning of the day. 
it just be like that. Just print more money, idiot? What, do you think I have a big money printer in the back of the store? Print more money, Alfred! Get back there and print more dollar dollar bill! He can't hear me. He's got his AirPods in. He's stocking in the back in the freezer. He's got his AirPods in. Ooh, cereal. Having a cereal party, are you? I understand. That's what businessmen do. They love having the cereal party. Just go to the bank? Yeah, true. Bank! 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 Oh, bank! Bank? There a bank around here? Bank! Oh, bank! 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 Where bank? Oh, bank! There a bank around here? You go, oh shit, I got a customer, I gotta fucking go, I gotta be hop my way back over there. Back to my store, gotta get back to my store. Hi, bottle of water for you, huh? They were just raiding, they were just raiding the store and I got back and they were like, Oh, I gotta pay for these now? What the fuck, dude? Oh, I gotta pay for this shit? Yeah. That's a big order. That's a big order. Oh, we were out of spaghetti. Hello, customer. They call them customers. Why can't I say fuck? If, if I work in retail, they call them customers. Why can't I say fuck? Anybody else have the retail experience of like, we don't call them customers. They're guests. Like the big movement to start calling customers guests. You're not a salesperson. You're an associate. We love helping out our guests. Oh, you do? You love helping out the guests? Hello, sir. You're a valued guest, and I'm a guest service associate. The anguish of calling the guests. Hello, sir. As a valued guest, did you find what you needed? Oh, goodbye. All right. Uh. Oh, shit. Big business? Oh, shit. Mr. Anderson. Er, I need milkies, and I need them now. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. I will buy this milk, and you will sell it to me. Otherwise, there may be consequences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me help you out here, sir. Yes, sir. I'll get your milk for you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a great day, sir. Yes, sir. Enjoy your milk, sir. Ah, oh, what the fuck did he need with all that milk? What the fuck? A lot of tea, huh? What did that guy need all that milk for, huh? What's he doing with all that milk? Okay, store is closed. Leave. Fine, I will sell you a box of cereal. Ah, oh, we're running low. We need more shells. We're running low. Okay. End the day. How do we do? I think we did all right that day. I think that was a good day of groceries. A good grocery day, mind you. We wish it could be like a... I wish I could be a different kind of grocery store. I'd love, um... Updates to this game that I'd love. Uh... Candy. A lot more candy. And I want... Two machines out front of the store. Here, here's like the Brendan vision, right? Two machines out in front of the... I feel like I'm small. I'm so small. I'm so small. Um. Brendan vision, right? Brendan, here's the... Here's the Brendan vision, right? Two machines out in front of the so store, right? Series one and series two. Homies. We need to put homies outside of the store. I need homie vending machines right there. Just two of them. Two homies vending machines right there. Improve the game by a thousandfold. Add homies to the game. Now. I need two homie machines right here out in front of the store. 
is what I want. I want to be able to sell people little homie figurines. We need it. They need little- we need little homies. What are homies? They're homies! You don't know what a homie is? They're homies! Little homies! Oh, you don't know what homies are? Oh my god, alright, well, let me educate you here. When I was a kid, I would oftentimes go to uh, the grocery store with my grandfather, and sometimes we'd go to this little, um, uh, Mexican grocery store. And out in front, they had these little, little, little toy vending machines. Um, and they had the homies in there. The homies were homies. These are the homies. You get little figurines. You can just put them in your mouth. You can place them around the town. Homies, dude. They got homies. You can get so many different homies. They got a billions of homies. Like genuinely homies. You don't know about homies. We fucking love, we love that. I, I love collecting homies as a kid. They were like 50 cents, a dollar. You put them in the vending machine and you get a couple out. Real millennial core. Real millennial core moment is bringing up the homies. Yeah. They were in like, they were in the little vending machines outside of stores. They're not really, I mean, they're, they're not, they don't really exist anymore. Like finding, finding little homies isn't really like a thing anymore. You can buy them online and you can, you can just get them, but. It's not the same. It's not the same. There's little guys, yeah. All they all they were was little dudes. You just buy a couple of little dudes, little guys. Being a butter flour and some spaghetti and some rice and some salt and some olive oil and some cereal and some bread and some flour and some susu and some pasta and some oil and some cheese. Oh, we're at max already. All right. Yabba dabba doo bop, yabba dabba day, we're restocking bread, hey, 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 hey. Yabba dabba doo bop, yabba dabba day, we love selling bread every single day. Love, uh, love a bit of susu. Fucked up because I accidentally gave away a bunch of my spaghetti for free. Uh, I'm not ever doing that again, I'm not falling for that, buster. Seen little guys before, but never homies. Homies were... They were started in, um, like, big cities and predominantly found at, um, like, Mexican grocery stores. And then every once in a while, they they, they did permeate the culture uh, at large for a little while. I, I did a lot of research on homies. There's also a homies art book that you can buy that I was thinking about buying because I was working on a big homies video for a while. And then I kind of just dropped it because I didn't know how I wanted to write the script. Um, but, yeah, uh, there there's a really cool homies art book that you can buy. And you can still buy homies as their own thing. Salt. Probably wasn't a thing in Canada then. Nah, it was like a 90s, early 2000s thing. There was a homies cart racer, true. Bread shouldn't stand, it should loaf around. Nah, this is hard bread. You can tell by the nature. You can tell it's graded A for hard. Most part, I just saw the little ninjas that were different colors and poses. Yeah. There were, I mean, there were a lot of different little collectibles they would try to get you. Remember the sticky hands? I wa I've always wanted to buy my dream object, right? If I ever get, like, this will never happen in a million years, but if I ever get, like, big fuck streamer, like, huge fuck streamer, like, fucking, oh, radiating pure miasmic energy, right, and power, I'd buy a huge sticky hand. Just a bit, like a fucking massive one. I want one big. I want a fucking fifty to a hundred dollar sticky hand. And I just want to whack it at things. Dream object is a big sticky hand. If I can't have a big sticky hand, then what's even the fucking point of streaming? It gets so dirty so quick. You're so fucking right. But for one stream, it would be such a fucking funny bit to have a big sticky hand. I don't know what I'd do with it either. I'd probably smash watermelons with it. Gallagher type stream. I really want to do a Gallagher type stream, but I feel like that'd be wasteful. So I'd love to buy like five watermelons and smash them with different things. And then that's like the stream. It's like 20 minutes and then I turn it off. I don't know. I just, I, I really want a big sticky hand. Just a huge one. Phenomenally large sticky hand is in my, is in my brain and I can't get it out. 
pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Like as big as a, I'm talking, yeah, as big as a person. I'm, I want a sticky hand so big that it would be like a clickbait thumbnail in a YouTube video. That's how big I want this sticky hand to be. Milk. Milk. Even more milk. I have a space for that. Come on, dude. Milk. Egg. We have space. Um, I wish I had a box. I wish I had. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a balder. I wish I was a. What do we put? What do we put here? We have two slots. We can buy a little bit more food. A little bit more food. A little bit more slime. A little bit more food. Coffee. We buy two boxes of coffee. People love their coffee. What do you mean? You're expecting me to get through this world without any caffeine? You're fucking insane, Brendan. A little bit of coffee for you. Dark roast. Love your dark roast. A little bit of coffee for you. Two dollar salt. Who wants it? And no, you have to pay for it. I gotta lower the price on tea. Uh, what's bread? Bread's good. What about peanut? Peanut peanut butter? Peanut butter's good. Oil is good. Flour is... We can actually bump that up to $6 for now. What about Pischetti? Pischetti can be bumped up to $6. Prices are going up because I own a grocery store and I'm still telling everybody that there are shipping problems and that's why the prices are going up. It's not because I want more money. Oh no, prices are going up because we still can't get some of this stuff shipped. I am lying to my customers, so they have to pay me more money. We love it. We love inflating the pot. We love inflating the prices big and around. We love it when the prices are huge. Premium prices, $4 cheese. The prices need to be larger. We love it when the prices are huge. Be careful how you set those prices, Brendan. The lesson is hubris. Shush. Shush. Don't tell anybody. The customers never know. Never, never, never. They're never gonna know. Did you say big and round prices? Welcome to Brent Daniels Grocery Store, where the prices are big and round, and after you buy our products, so will you be! Full of sugar! Big, fat, round prices. Oh, I need a big price. I hate this stream. Do you really? Do you really? Sorry, I got. Co I I know I got customers, but you really hate this stream because, like, I'm on a cigarette break. Sorry. Yeah, I don't care if they're buying anything. I'm on a cigarette break. Oh, sorry. I gotta go help out some customers. Hooey. All right, I gotta get back in there. Hooey, 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 hooey. Oh, look at all the milk he's buying. He's having a cereal party. Rich man, cereal party. White woman, egg party. Look at me throwing eggs at my friends. Buying oil till the fun never ends. Hey, Brendan, if you were a valued guest in chat's epic supermarket experience, what drink would you gravitate towards first? Here at ESE, we value your customers' opinions. Y'all got slime? Yeah, I came to the grocery store. I'm not from the area around here. I'm uh, up, 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 up in here for work. Uh, y'all got slime? You know, back in uh, Alabama, they got slime at every grocery store. Y'all got slime? I'm looking for slime. Premium slime, even. I, um, uh, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Y'all got slime? Where's the slime at? I've been looking for the slime for a couple of hours now, and I can't find any slime. Y'all got slime in here? Sorry, only thing my diet restricts me. I can't eat nothing else but slime. Y'all got slime? And I need that gluten-free slime or whatever my wife is telling me. Gluten-free or whatever. 
Don't give me don't give me no sass. I need that slime. Don't talk to me before I've had my big bucket of slime either. Y'all ain't got slime up here, do you? Y'all don't even know what slime is. Okay, y'all got sweet tea? Y'all ain't got sweet tea. What the fuck? What the fuck do you mean you ain't got sweet tea? The big jug? No? What are you fucking crazy? You ain't got slime? You ain't got sweet tea? Oh my fucking god damn. This place fucking blows. No sweet tea, no slime. Ain't got nothing here. They're ridiculous. I think the funniest southern accent encounter I ever had was at GameStop where somebody came in and like as as a retail employee, sometimes you prejudge customers only to get like uh immediately beat the fuck out by their gaming preferences, especially at GameStop. So I had a guy come in, thought he was a farmer. Like I was already thinking, like, okay, probably buying farming simulator, because farmers love farming simulator, especially in like Iowa, right? This dude came up to me, dirty work overalls like just incredibly farmer core and he looks at me and he's like y'all got atlier rising from the ps3 like what yeah atlier little alchemy little uh, jrpg i was like i never judged a customer ever again except for the old people um only the old people like a, a day in the life i had a, i had a farmer once asked me for a copy of one of the atlier games on ps3 and i was like you know what never gonna judge again however i will say Every time I assumed in my four years at GameStop, every time I assumed that somebody was coming in to look at Sonic video games, I had 100% hit accuracy. I had a 100% hit accuracy on people who buy Sonic games and people who bought PSP games. $44. Did you really come in here with a 50? What do Sonic gamers look like? I want to say crusty gamers, but a little bit more cleaned up. Weirdly enough, Sonic gamers were usually like crusty, crusty gamers, but like cleaned up. Has been my experience. Like crusty and crungly, but they didn't smell, right? I, I hate to tell you this, but every interaction I've had with a Sonic fan, they have not smelled bad. The worst smelling customers have been and always will be the, uh, I either want to say the Call of Duty crowd or I want to say anybody that was looking at PSP games. What gamers drew the crust? Uh, PSP games drew the crustiest of gamers. PSP and 3DS. And honestly, you know, now that I think about it, honestly, I think the crustiest of gamers, bargain bin Xbox 360. Angriest customers, uh, parents. I, I've talked about this encounter before, but I guess I'll regale you. This is the time to retell some of my retail stories. Uh, I had a customer come in uh, at GameStop while me and my manager were closing. Uh, it was about 10 minutes before close. And he was looking to buy games with his kid. So he's with his son. They're looking at games. The son finds Tearaway for the PS4. It's like 10 bucks, right? It's like Tearaway. It's the Vita, Vita video game that got ported to PS4. Um, now, Tearaway, fun fact, has a reversible cover. Tearaway, you can either be a, 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 a guy character or a girl character, right? Well, the ver reversible cover had been set to the girl character. So the dad immediately was like, this is a girl video game. I'm not letting you buy a girl video game. Kid has an absolute mental breakdown, and the dad's trying to do anything to console him. It is now 9 p.m. Uh, we're trying to, like, kind of scoot them out of the store. Uh, the kid goes, and the dad's like, here, play this Crash Bandicoot game, because the Crash Bandicoot Remaster trilogy had just came out at the time. And the dad's like, oh, yeah, this is a boys game, a game for boys, awesome boy game, right? Crash Bandicoot, boy game. Uh, you want to buy this, right? And the kid's like, this is hard. I hate this. This sucks. I want that other game. I want Tearaway. That's like, okay, okay, whatever. Comes up to the counter, buys Crash Bandicoot. Then his kid has an utter mental breakdown and he sits there for another 10 to 15 minutes trying to like sit down and console his kid instead of like picking him up and taking him out of the store, right? So the dad comes up to the counter. He's like, listen, man, I want to return this, um... If he's acting this way, I'm going to return it. Like, uh, he, uh, this is how it's going to be. So, uh, when you return something at GameStop, you have to ask for customer information. Right? 
because GameStop doesn't want people taking advantage of the return policy. So when you enter a, a return into the computer, you need to grab their first name, last name, and address. That's just part of the computer's process. There's no way around that. Uh, like, that's, that's never usually a problem, right? So I say, okay, let's do the return. We set it up. We start working on the return. Uh, I start working on the return. My manager is just kind of there, like, trying to be like, please get out of the store. Uh, I ask for his name, and he gives me his name, and I'm like, cool, cool, cool. And for the return, I just need an address. And then it was like I had seen into the void, i.e. this dad looked at me, and he went from, like, normal eyes to crazy eyes. Do you know the shift when somebody, like, has a hint of madness inside of them, but, like, they don't usually show it out in public? This guy flipped from uh, uh, normal asshole to mental psycho. I could see it in his eyes. This, like, fucking, like, deranged... He went from, like... To, he went... He went... He, he Yeah, my address is, uh, none of your fucking business! And he fucking yelled at me. Like, and I'm just sitting there, GameStop employee, like... Yells at me out of nowhere. Like, just fucking... I am taken aback. I am shaken. I'm like, what? The, what? Excuse me? And then he takes the game covered in plastic. He's like, just fucking take it. Just fucking take it. Me and my son have had our information stolen before. I've had my identity stolen. My seven-year-old, ten-year-old son has had his identity stolen. This is not happening. And I'm like, what? Your, your ten-year-old has had his identity stolen? What were they doing? I Like, fucking, were they trying to ride a children's ride? And they were like a fully grown adult and they needed his kid's social security number? I'm like, what? So then the guy calms down immediately. Like, he goes from, like, psycho on me 100%, throws the game at me. And then he goes and his son is still crying and throwing a fit on the ground. And then Ed walks over and goes from, like, psycho and flips over to, come on, buddy, we gotta get out of here. Come on, buddy, we gotta leave. Come on, buddy, we gotta get out of here. Doesn't just pick his son up and leave. Ten more minutes. It is now 9.45. We are 45 minutes past close. And my manager has to walk up and say, hey, guys, we need you to evacuate. We need you to, to like, leave the premises. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to call the police. He just straight up is like, you need to leave or we're calling the cops. And the guy's like, okay. And then he picks up his son and he leaves, which he could have just done at the beginning. His son is like a, a, a small boy. He's a child. And then it takes us half an hour to close. So from like 945 to like 1015, we are still in the store. Uh, we leave. The dad is still outside in his truck. The light is on and he's still consoling his son. Because he didn't want to buy his son tear away because he thought it was a girl's game. And then he freaked out because Crash Bandicoot remastered or re-insane trilogy was like, his son was freaking out. So I just... No idea. Just an insane moment. Um, another weird thing happened to me when I worked at GameStop is at the mall. GameStop, I covered a shift there. I covered like a week or two of shifts at the mall GameStop because in my town we used to have three. One by the Walmart, one in the mall, one over in the Nebraska part of my city. Um, and I covered a, a, a set of shifts at the mall. Uh, one day I'm working... And I'm just doing stuff. Two people come into the store. And I'm like, hey, guys, can I get you anything? And one of them turns around and looks at me like a fucking statue moving 3D. I swear to God, he didn't move his feet. He swivels over to me and he goes, what do you fucking want from me? And I'm like, and then he leaves. And I'm like, what? 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 And he just, he just, like, came into the store. I asked him, hey, can I help you? And then he, 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 he like, tank-controlled, spun around, and he just, like, screamed at me. <laughs> and I don't know how to handle that. I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> I also hated working at the mall because as somebody who's six foot five, um... I would have people just come up to me and like I had it three times only at the mall game stop never anywhere else where I work never at Best Buy I had three times where people would come into the store and be like can I get your picture can I get a picture with you and I was like no and I don't think they were like they knew I who I was I was just like no what no what I don't want your what no no 
Why do people? Why? Do, why would you want to take a picture with me? No. No. Absolutely. Why? No. It's weird. I can see why Brendan doesn't like to leave the house. I don't. I don't. I have weird interactions with people. I don't interact with the world at large. I don't. I cannot handle it anymore. It's too much energy. It's so. It's so much. It's. It rips away a piece of your soul. I'm like. I can't do it. I, there's too many weirdos out there. That, for some reason, want to interact with me and tell me about DARPA weather controlling machines, and that's why they're buying wired earbuds. Like, I don't... I don't want to think about it. I don't, I don't want to go outside. It's just outside is scary, and there's people out there, and they want to, like, converse with me about, like, DARPA weather control machines, and it's like, I don't want to... I don't want to think about it. I'm sorry. Especially old people. I, I can't have another old person interaction the way that I did in retail ever again. Like, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Bless bless anybody who can fucking put up with that shit, but like... I... I how, how could anybody handle that on a daily basis? Especially old dudes. They're like the worst. Especially trucker old dudes. Because like, I don't know, the amount of people that would immediately start jumping into a political rant the second like you're helping them out where they'd be like, yeah, this is awesome. Anyway, tell me your thoughts on race purity. And it's like, I'm, I'm trying to sell you a Vizio 50 inch TV. I, 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 no, no, I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm just trying to tell you about this Vizio. I don't want to talk about this. No. You know, people, Oftentimes, I think, don't understand how many fucking crazy people there are out there until you work like retail, right? Until you work retail or service, I, I genuinely think there are people who are out there who are like, there are people like this in the real world. They don't exist. They're not real. Go out there. Go work retail. Go work food service. And, like, meet real people and understand that, like, real people are cool. Um, but also, there are real people who think that there are goblins inside of their router that are controlling their internet. And the government put the goblins inside of the router. And that's just a normal thing that some people are like, yep, there are goblins in my router. They're hacking all my wires. And you just gotta like sell them a Bose stereo system and just deal with it. Those are real people. People are incredibly unhinged. And there's a minor amount of people that do it just to fuck with you. But there's also, there's just people who are just genuinely unwell who are out there in the world. Not a thought in their head. And it's like, I'm sorry, uh, there are no goblins in your router. I, I don't, uh, do you want me to sell you an anti-goblin router package? You know how many people in the last year worked at Best Buy that would come in to be like, do you guys have a 5G blocker? I once had a woman argue with me for an hour because she thought you could just come to the Best Buy and buy a cell phone jammer. A cell phone jammer? You were going to walk into the Best Buy and buy a cell phone? Yeah, that's just a thing you think you can buy? Why do you think you could just walk into the Best Buy and buy a cell phone jammer? That's not a thing the Best Buy sells. I need a military-grade cell phone jammer to stop the 5G waves to, from getting into my house. And it's like, I... That's not a thing you can buy at the Best Buy. No I had people who would come into GameStop and ask me for Mario video games in the PlayStation. I once had an old guy come in with a photoshopped copy of Mario Kart 8 on a PS4 box, and then he got mad at me and said, fuck you, I'm going to Walmart. And I was like, that doesn't exist, sir. That's not real. Doesn't exist. Not real. It's like, fuck you, I'm going to Walmart. They're going to tell you the same thing, sir. I'm sorry. I once worked a Black Friday shift at GameStop, and I had somebody come in at 3 a.m., I worked the 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. I had an old guy come in at 3 a.m. and ask me if we sold a copy of Windows XP. GameStop. Like, there are people out there, and you encounter them when you work in retail or, or customer service, and especially out in the Midwest, and I... They have left a permanent stain on my soul. Um... And I will never be able to escape that. And this is why I don't internalize a lot of uh, a lot of my time yeah. in retail. I just I yeah. I don't I don't I I don't yeah. I don't think about it. It's like yeah, funny stories. 
Remember the remember the woman, Brendan, that you sold a uh, Dyson, and she was worried that her boyfriend was going to come and kill her in the middle of the night, so she was buying security cameras, and she looked at you and she said, "Fuck it, I might die tonight. Show me a Dyson with a hundred percent sincerity." I I I swear to you, there is madness in the world. That you may not understand that there is madness out there. And it is it is oozing. And you will not encounter it. But if you were customer service, inevitably, if you have not had an encounter with, like, the madness, if you have not looked into the eyes of a god long past dead, inside of the shell of a mortal being, then inevitably you will. You will have a madness experience. You will look into somebody's eyes and realize there's nothing there. The lights are on, but nobody's home. It's beyond satire. I, it is... It is beyond, like, what you think is normal in any way. The, the sheer amount of madness that lies within people becomes incredibly evident working in any kind of service job. And I'm thankful that I worked in service jobs. I really am. I'm thankful for it because I, I, had, to, I had to work and figure out what I was doing with my life. And like it, it built up a fake sense of confidence. Um, and I have a bevy of stories I can tell. Um, but also never again in my life. If I have to go back into the workforce like normal, not online at any point again, I'm going to go work in a warehouse. I'm going to take a box and put it on a pallet. Then take a box and put it on a pallet. Then take a box and put it on a pallet. Never again. I never, I never want to interact with people ever again. As, 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 as long as I can, I never want it. Retail is hell. Uh, bless anybody who can handle it. I, I, for an extended period of time, if you can handle retail, you are a hero. <laughs> Mr. Bryn Daniel, is there anybody at your lit house? I mean, the lights are on in somebody's home, but sometimes he's just taking a fat nap. I mean, every job is weird, but especially if you face, uh, if you're customer facing in any way, you're, you're going to just, you're going to see some things and hear some things from people that will blow your mind, uh, that people really do just be like that. People really do just be like that. And there is madness out there. End day. Also, thank you to Kane Drano for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Cheese is going down. We're losing the cheese prices. All right, what do we need? Um, we definitely need some more biscotti. We need rice. Need a little bit more rice. Peanut butter, spaghetti, rice, salt. Definitely, we're all, we're almost out of salt. Ooh, Put some salt in there. Olive oil, flour, uh, tea, eggs, coffee, pasta, cereal. All right, bring me my accoutrements. Time for egg. Mmm, old egg tomorrow, new egg today. You know the saying, right? Old egg tomorrow, new egg today. I got pushed into a glass door by a customer once during a Thanksgiving rush. I once had a customer yell and scream at me and slap my hand because, like, I was taking a Best Buy credit card payment from them, and, like, he set his card down and pushed it towards me. Uh, and then I went to grab it, and he slapped my hand, and then, uh, like, yelled at me, called me a bunch of expletives. Uh, and I was like, that's, that's awesome, dude. Awesome. I, I really wanted somebody to be mad at. It's a really cool bit, dude. Really awesome bit. Really wanted to yell at somebody that day, and, and set it up so that he, in his mind, got, like, an okay to yell at me. That was, I think, the moment in retail, too, where I was like, I'm done. Like, I, nope. I'm, I'm leaving. I formulated my plan, and then I got out. 
I formulated my plan to leave. You know how I quit GameStop is I gave my two weeks notice and then a day later I walked in, threw my keys in the ground and said, fuck you, I'm done. When I quit Best Buy, I printed off a, uh, a no week notice. Uh, cause you don't need to give a two weeks notice. You don't have to. That's a myth. You only have to give a two weeks notice if you want to be able to use that job as a reference and get like a good reference and like I didn't care. Uh, so I drafted, I went onto one of the Best Buy computers one Saturday. I, uh, opened up Microsoft Word on the Best Buy computer. I walked into the manager's office at the end of my shift and then I basically said, Hey, this is Brendan. Um, as of the end of today, I quit and I no longer work here. So good luck. And then I left. I turned my phone off for a whole week and didn't answer any calls. And I still haven't been back to that Best Buy since. <laughs> Meanwhile, me starting a retail job in four days. I mean, listen, you're going to get a lot of fun, wacky experiences out of it. And I, I pray for you that you get a cool manager. I, I pray that you get a cool manager. It's always good to get a cool manager. Always feels good to get a cool manager who gives you a little bit of wiggle room. We love cool managers that are awesome. Brendan, as a former retail manager, I'm proud of what you did. Listen, I, I give no quarter. I am, I am not going to fucking... They did not show me any respect. I'm not going to give them any. I gave them the piece of paper that said I'm done. They got the piece of paper that said I'm done. That's all they needed. I do feel bad, though, because, like, I, I love my coworkers at, at Best Buy. I did. They were really cool guys that I worked with. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Let me see. What am I missing here? What can I put in there? Will it tell me? Does this, is this the number of stuff that I've stocked already? I think so. I think that means I've stocked that. Or does that mean how many comes in a box? Is that, is that how many comes? I think that means how many co that comes in a box, not how many I have out. We have peanut butter. Do we need rice? No, we have rice. What am I missing here? I know I'm missing something. We have pasta. We got pasta. I put pasta out. We got cereal. We got cereal. We got the susu cereal. We need the chocolate cereal. Worst time I ever worked was when I was a grocery store cashier. I worked at Shopco for about a year, which is a local Midwestern chain. I worked there when I was a high schooler. Um, and I think the worst day for that was when kids at the high school that I went to came into the store and were skateboarding around. And I was like, I was like, dude, can you stop? I literally have engineering class with you tomorrow. Like, I know your name. He's like, fuck, Brendan works here. I can't do this shit anymore. He got genuinely upset that he couldn't skateboard around the store anymore because I worked there. Iowa, 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 Iowa. Um, and I was like, dude, I, I, I know who you are. I don't remember his name now, but like, I was like, dude, I know who you are. You're in my engineering class. Like, don't do this, please. I don't want to have to clean shit up from you, like skateboarding around. Like, fine, dude, fine. Just wanted to goof a little bit, dude. Just wanted to goof a little bit. What else do I want to sell? Oh. Do I have any oil? No oil! Almost, almost started the day with no oil? What the fuck, Brendan? Starting the day with no oil? What the fuck? Alright, let's check some prices here. What's the coffee at? Coffee, we gotta lower it. Coffee prices going down, going down, going down. Rice is prices fine. This is fine. Bread prices fine, fine, fine. Tea prices fine. Checking rice. What about Pischetti? Pischetti's still fine. What about oil? Oil is fine. What about oil? Oil is fine. I could do $6 on the olive oil. Bring the price up. We can do $7 on the cereal. $7 cereal. Flour price is fine. That's uh, fine. We do the $3 on that. 
Prices go up. Time for Brentflation. Prices go up. Time for Brentflation. Do 250 on milk. Fuck you. Ah, cheese went down. Cheese. Cheese prices were lowered, not the cheese, dude. Time for Teletubbies. Time for slime. Time for Teletubbies. Time for slime. My favorite job was when I was a cart pusher, albeit I had to do it in the Texas sun. My favorite job was my first year at Best Buy because they gave bonuses. Um, they acted enough like they cared. They were really good about getting time off. And then when the CEO that was there like left and they replaced it with a new CEO, everything went to shit. They cut bonuses, they started cutting everything else, they started cutting all incentives to do anything. Um, they started to get everybody in that mindset, the retail mindset of like, you don't work at one specific department, you work at every department. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, do you want a subpar customer service experience? Because that's how you get it, Buster. Never understand the idea of like, well, we have these employees, why don't we just train them in everything in the store? It's like if you if if everyone is trained in everything, nobody's gonna be an expert at anything. Got that jack of all trades, master of none mindset that I was like, nope. Oop, two twenties. Oop, almost gave that guy twenty dollars. A hundred dot come on, at least make a big purchase if you're gonna spend a hondo. Calm the fuck on. Easy to say every everyone can do everything when you're not the one doing it, true. Hello, Sid from Toy Story. Buying a bunch of slime today, yes. Mm, card. Oh my god, look at all the milk he's buying. This guy's crazy. One. Look, I'm just counting out your change. Two. Three. Can you give me a second? I gotta do something. I did this during the demo and I forgot about this bit. I wanted to do this bit again. Do you like pennies, sir? Sir, I gotta ask you before I do this. Do you like pennies? How do you feel about pennies? You big penny fan? I just gotta ask before I do this. Would you like $15 in pennies, sir? Because I'd love to give you $15 in pennies. Do you like pennies, sir? I love giving customers pennies. Do you like pennies? You gotta just give me a minute here, sir. It's just gonna take me a moment. You know what? We can speed this up a little bit. Do you like pennies, sir? Do you like getting pennies? I love giving pennies to customers. Here, check this out. Enjoy your pennies. Not enough. I'm just feeding him the pennies. He loves eating them. This is a big penny. He has a mighty thirst for pennies. Eat the pennies, customer. There's your change. How do you feel about this? I gotta ask you. How do you feel about this? You like this? Good. Good. Enjoy. Ooh, cash. Awesome. Here's a dollar. If you pay for a hundred, you get the pennies. I'm just saying it. Nobody better pay for a hundred in my store. If you pay for something with a hundred, you're getting the pennies. I'm sorry. This is the new store policy now. New store policy of if you pay with a hundred dollar bill and you make me count all that change, you're getting pennied. I'm gonna penny you. Fast as fuck, boy. We all checking out. 
Fast as fuck, boy. Look at all the items in the checkout. See, look at that. Amazing. Truly. Truly. Truly amazing. Great day. A great day for business. And we can do some restocking. Oh my god, I went through that guy. He was the void. Interesting. Interesting. Flowers not selling. Balawar is. The peanut butter doing. We restock the peanut butter. Oh, the, how about the coffee? Coffee's still a hot seller. Listen, man, I, I, I work seven Black Fridays. I can do this shit. Easy peasy. All right. Hi, how's it going? I've worked seven to eight Black Fridays in my years. It would be eight. Yeah, eight Black Fridays. Oh, just a little bit of salt, please. Check this shit out. I'm working fast. I'm working hard. I'm working and thinking. Oh, you fucking worry about this, Buster. I'm a retail machine. God put me on this girth for one thing, to sell rewards cards. 78? No, 7 to 8 Black Fridays. Not 78. I'd be infinitely old. You're sitting here like, oh, oh. Oh, Brendan, how do you feel about customers giving extra change after they've already given you a little a bill to pay because it would make change easier? Fucks me up every time. It fucks me up. Usually I just told them, no, here you go. And they'd be like, what? I'd be like, nah, I don't want to count this. Like, but you got it. This is your job. And I'd be like, nah, I don't want to. Stop stalking. Oh, yeah, here you go. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Help out those customers when you're not doing anything else. You better be stalking. And if you're not stalking, you better be cleaning. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. Now remember, don't forget. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. Please, no, please, I just want to chill for a minute. Could I chill? It's a slow day. It's a slow day at the retail day. It's a slow day at the retail store. Could I chill for like a minute? You got time to lean. You got time to clean. No. No, no, no. What a world. Grab out the wipes if you got time to lean. You got time to clean. No. No. Mm, just oil, huh? Interesting. Hello, ma'am. You ever see old people look so old that it's like they're from a Unity Asset Horror video game? Sometimes I'm afraid. Old people scare me. Not in like that I'm genuinely afraid of old people way, but in like the... You ever see an old person that's like they came out of a Unity Asset for like an itch.io game and you're like, why? How did you get this way? If you got the dream, you got time to cream. Hopefully I don't look like that when I'm old. I'm really, I'm really praying for it. I'm hoping for it. I know one day I'm going to be, one day on this world I'm going to be old and I'm going to have to laugh at how old I am and people are going to laugh at me. I'm going to fall down the stairs and somebody's going to play a tuba while I walk really slowly with a walker. But I, I, I hope to God that I never look like a Unity store I said. I get irrationally angry over these manager lines and I only work retail for three weeks. You got time to lean, you got time to clean. Me, on the other hand, I'm gonna go in back and, uh, write some sketties. Okay. Looking good. We have a lot of products still, and we have a lot of money, so good day. Good day, good day, good day at the customer store. Good day at the store. When will we expand? Make the store nice and round. Make the store real big. I want to be able to buy a new product license eventually, but also I feel like I should grow the store large. I have money. We grow the store large. How big did it get? Whoa! 
I don't. What happened? Oh, that's what happened. Oh, grow the store large. Oh. I need more shelves. Da da do 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 All right, another shelf. More shelf mean more product, mean more buy, mean more customer. Interesting. All right, now we're out of money, but we should be fine-ish. I'm going to put more peanut butter there. Then we need another product license, but for now we just need to fill up the, uh... Fill this, fill this up with what we could. So, milk and cheese and eggs. Milk and cheese and eggs and bread and milk and cheese and eggs and bread. Milk and cheese and eggs and bread and milk and cheese and eggs and peanut butter and flour and olive oil and... A lot of coffee. A lot of my money goes into coffee right now. Big coffee head over here. Big caffeine freak, not going to lie. Another shelf of flour. I don't know if there's really a hot seller, but I know that coffee is. More egg. People love, buy, eat egg. More olive oil. Sure, more olive oil over here. People love oil. Uh, get yourself all nice and gussied up. Brandon, when is the Wrecketeer stream? Isn't that the one where you like anime shop? Never, maybe? I don't know. I don't know nothing about anime. We love to shop. We love to sell. Selling old milk. Well, come to old milk hell. I love that milk is two shelves. All right, there the cheese. All right, fridge is full. These shelves we can do a little bit more. I think we can get some cereal. Oh, the cereal. What's the cereal looking like? We can buy, uh, we can buy some more cereal. Need cereal, and I need it now. My sugary stuff. And some more pasta. Yeah, always need more pasta. Two shelves of pasta. Look at the growth. Look at the growth. My store becomes big, large, even huge. We're going to be a little light on product today, unfortunately. I spent all my money on the growth of the store. Um, maybe I can at least put out the peanut butter. More peanut butter. Anything else I can just throw out? Uh, three pastas. Just trying to... Just trying to... This is just a, just a lackadaisical son of a bitch of a day. Lackadaisical son of a bitch of a day. Alrighty, alrighty. Open up. Supermarket! Yes, open and open. Come to my store. Buy my goods. Buy my goods. Enjoy all my oil. Enjoy all my milk. Enjoy my eggs, my cheese, my tea, my cereal. Enjoy it all. The customers are so excited. They're looking at all the products and saying, where are they? Where are the things that I want? And I'm saying, hey, I will get you what you crave. Would you like paper or plastic? Uh, just kidding. Only paper, idiot. Bring your own bag. Welcome to the Aldi, idiot. You don't have a bag. Give me money now. It's like fair, I guess. Fair, you gotta go to the Aldi. You gotta bring your own bag or you gotta pay for a bag there. I get it, I get it, I get it. Why can't I charge for bags? When do I get to charge for bags? That'll be $50 for a bag. I'll carry the eggs. Yeah, you will. I bet you will. I bet you'll carry the eggs. You couldn't find- Oh, I need spaghetti. I didn't buy any spaghetti. 
I gotta buy spaghetti. Can I buy spaghetti? Give me a mo. Give me a mo. Wait in line. I'm stocking spaghetti. There, are you happy? We got paschetti. We got paschetti. We got spaghetti. Peanut butter and eggs. Are you making peanut butter eggs? That's my favorite. Brand new recipe. Peanut butter eggs. We love it. A hundred dollars. You really wanted to do this, huh? teaching him a lesson. It's teaching him a lesson. He needs to know. He needs to fucking know. He needs to know. He needs to understand. If you want to pay for, if you want to pay for one item at a grocery store with a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> Can I go any faster? This is one penny per millisecond. He is, he is going to enjoy getting his change. He's going to have to have big bags with dollar signs on them to be able to take this shit out. I wonder if we go outside when we give him the, when we give him the $90 in pennies. I wonder if we go outside and like the, I wonder if the pennies are in the sky. I wonder, I'm curious about it. We're getting him his, we're, we're filling up his tank. He's getting his pennies. He's getting what he craves. He needs those pennies. Needs them. What is he gonna do without these pennies? He needs these pennies. He's gonna take all these copper. I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna say, "Eat the pennies, gamer. Eat the pennies." He's gonna love eating these pennies. He's so happy. He's so excited about it. Look at him. We can't look at him, but we're building ourselves a penny tower of Babel. He wanted ninety dollars in change. I'll get him ninety dollars in change. This dumb son of a bitch wanted to break a hundred with a pair of with a little bit of egg. Sure. I don't give a shit if my shop isn't profitable today. I don't fucking care, dude. I'm building the Tower of Abel. Sorry, the Tower of Abel. Because Abe Lincoln is on the penny. Drowning him in pennies. Drown in it. He's gonna drown in it. There's your change. Let's check it out. Can I see it from outside? You can. You can. You can see it. It's taller than the buildings. It's popping out of the top of the building. You can see it. You can see it. Popping out of the top of the building. Ninety dollars in pennies. <laughs> I've heard a ten penny tower, but just not 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 like nine thousand penny tower. Anyway, there you go. Oh my god, there's the customers. Holy shit, there is a there are too many customers in the store. Oh god, oh god. I'm getting a I'm getting a rush. Hi, do you have a rewards card with us? No, great. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoy all your stuff. You have a great day now, sir. Hi, buying a couple of milk, buying some spaghetti. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Great, great. Love helping you out. Have a great day. Enjoy your stuff. Wow, bread and water. Awesome, cool, stable meal. Do you have a rewards card with us? No, awesome. Have a great day. Ooh, sweet. A little bit of cereal, a little bit of egg, a little bit of tea, a little bit of coffee. I get that, I get that, I get that. Thirty eight dollars. Here's your two dollars in change, sir. Have a great day. Hi, how's it going? A little bit of spaghetti, a little bit of peanut butter, making peanut butter spaghetti. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Perfect. Exactly. Change awesome, great day. Have a great day, sir. Cool, 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 cool. What are we picking up here? Just got a little bit of change here. All right, here you go. Have a great day. Have a wonderful rest of your day. A little bit of milk for you, sir. I understand. I love helping people find their milk. Have a great day. Ooh, just a little bit of spaghetti, a little bit of pasta, a little bit of egg, a little bit of cheese. I get that. Absolutely. Have a great day, sir. Love helping out the community. Enjoy your day. Ooh, a little bit of cereal, a little bit of water, a little bit of peanut butter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thirteen fifty. Ooh, one second. Having a little bit of a problem with the machine here. Don't worry about it. Took care of it. Have a great day. A little bit of cereal, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of cheese. Understandable. Have a great day. Ooh, just some cheese. Cool, cool, cool. Uh you, you fool. Oh. More, 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 more. I 
want to leave the grocery store. I want to leave the grocery store. You can't leave. I need you to stay here in the grocery store with me. Somebody has decided to pay for two packages of cheese with a hundred dollar bill. How bold of them. How incredibly bold. You wanted to do this? You want your chain? A third tower of pennies awaits the foul fool who sequesters away their large money at me. Do you think that this is a game? That you can just throw your large money out there in the world and I will just accept it and break it? I'm out of 20s. I'm out of 10s. I'm out of 5s. I'm out of 1s. No quarter. No nickel. No dime. No 50 cent piece. No Susan B. Anthony commemorative coin worth one dollar. No. You get the penny. Enjoy. Don't do it again. Or I'll do what I have to do. Whoa. Pennies be upon ye. Whoa. Pennies be upon ye. Help, please, let us out of the grocery store! No. Pennies be upon ye. It's dark in here. Will you at least turn the light on? I'm sorry, sir. I have to help this customer before I help any other customers, sir. I have to help this customer first, sir. It's very important that I get to the customer, sir. The customer is always right. And this customer was in line first, sir. I have to get him his change. He needs it. I won't stand for this. Oh, you're expecting me to just not help out the customer? Oh, you can wait. Wait in line. This is my store. If I have to wait, you have to wait. I love getting your change for you, sir. I love doing what I have to do for you. Oops, sorry. I overshot that a little bit. Here you are, sir. $94 in pennies. Awesome. What are we buying today? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Paid with card. Awesome choice. Have a great day, sir. Hey, a little bit of bread, a little bit of tea, a little bit of peanut butter. Awesome. Paid with card. I see you're making the rational choice. I understand. A little bit of milk, a little bit of egg, a little bit of water. Awesome. They know now. Oh, they know now. They learned. They know better. Oh, they're all busting out the card. They don't want to get embarrassed like that guy. Dollar fifty. Awesome. They didn't want to try to break a hundred like that guy. Ooh wee. They learned. They learned their lesson. A little bit of milk. Okay, two fifty. Not not a single one of them wanted to be embarrassed like that guy. They're they're like, oh, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. Oh God, we, retail employees gonna make fun of me. I don't want to be that guy. Fucking fifty dollars for a little bit of cheese. It's not a hundred though, so it's fine. They didn't want to be that guy. They didn't want to be that guy. I'm not turning the lights on for them either. The darkness spreads. The void is here. I'm like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on two pieces of cheese. I don't want to get in trouble. I want the retail employee to yell at me? I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble at all. They, they're all pulling out the card, too. All of them are like, I gotta get out of here, dude. I missed my son's baseball game because of this shit. Grocery store manager, I missed my son's baseball game because of this shit. I can't believe you did this. Can't believe you did this. Why is the scary man coming in? Don't come into my store. Keep walking. Keep moving. I thought the frightening man was about to come in and stab me with his big frightening man knife. Honestly, if my cashier gave me the penny tower for my hubris, I'd spank his bottom cherry red. All right, I think that's a good enough time to take a break. I haven't taken a break yet, so... I think that's a good enough time to take a little five-minute break while I go get some water. Enjoy the void while I'm gone. I'm going to get some music up while I am away. Uh, enjoy the void.
Right and back. Uh, thank you, Chipples, for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. I get to live another day. I, ow. I sat on my balls. Ow. Ow. I'll be back. Fine, I'm normal, I'm back. Ow. Yeah, the second I got back, I was like, I sat down and I saw the five gift subs and I was like, oh, awesome, thank you. And then just immediately. <laughs> we are fine, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm fine. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're fine. It happens. It happens. Oh, why did why did buy more cheese? I already have backup cheese. What about me flour? Nobody's buying flour. Why is nobody buying flour? What's the flour price at? Flour? Oh, it's too expensive. Of course it is. Of course the flour is too expensive. It's too pricey. Why is it so high of a price? Four dollar cereal! Flour is far too pricey. They don't want to spend the money on the pricey flour. Old milk sits there. Oh, what about the coffee? Real good seller is the coffee. We need more. More, more, more coffee. More macaroni. More cheese. Don't lie, Brendan. You were never normal. I was normal. I've been normal. i seen normal. I could be normal if I wanted to. How's your feet? How are your feet doing? I hear you just got back from the foot doctor. How are your feet doing? Did you see the weather outside? Ha <laughs> ha. Very tepid day we're having. A lot of moisture in the air. The humidity plays crazy with my hair. Hi, how are you? I'm normal. 
hear you got a promotion at the big job factory today. I'm proud of you, and I hope that you get a lot more job money. Cereal. That's cereal. Cereal. Susu cereal. You got two kinds of cereal. It's cereal. That was cereal. Hi, how are you? How are you feeling about the current thing? Are you upset about current thing? Are you enjoying current thing? Are you reveling in it? Or are you like, boo, current thing? Me personally, I cannot find an opinion one way or the other on current thing. Have you heard about video games? Ah! Uh... <laughs> Let me put that cereal down. What's the... Seven dollars is good. Need water? Bottle of water? We need water. Water and eggs. I need water and eggs. I need watery eggs. I need refreshment. My customers are thirsty. They need refreshment. Hmm, water. All right, there's water, there's eggs, bread, milk, cheese. Oh, bread, bread, bread. We need bread. Oh, that's more water. We don't need more. I don't need more water. Stop buying water. Hmm, but what if I'm thirsty? Stop buying more water. Buy more bread. Oh, yeah. Take a little look at that. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I need more pasta. Alright, put a pasta there. Take a pasta out of there. There we go. And put the excess pasta over here. What are we what are we missing here? We need oil, right? We need olive oil and normal oil. People love they oil. People love they other kind of oil. What else do we? What else? We got a lot of peanut butter. We got a lot of coffee. We got cereal. We got powdered sugar. We got bread. What else are we missing here? What do I not see up there? That maybe that somebody would maybe want. We got the rice. We got rice. We got salt. Maybe put up another shelf of salt. Whoa, fancy car, huh? Having a great day out there driving around in your big car, huh? Big guy in your big car, huh? Almost ran over my salt. Jeesh. We're always running out of Pischetti, so maybe some Pischetti and some more bread. Backup bread, backup Pischetti, and then maybe some backup powdered sugar. Oh, I forgot to click pay. I forgot to pay the internet for my food. Thin margins at the grocery store. What about powdered toast? Do you want me to pull out the powdered toast man? Your ants on the shelf? Your ants are pretty popular. I'm not filling my store with ants. Stop it. Brendan, you know what would be really cool, actually? Kids are crazy about it these days. Ants, fill your store with bugs, Brendan. No, I'm not filling my store with bugs. I don't care what you say. I'm not filling the store with bugs. Brendan, the kids are going crazy for bugs, Brendan. Fill your store up with bugs. I'm not filling my store up with bugs. I'm not filling my store up with beetles, ants, reptiles. This is not a zoo. I'd buy your ants, Brendan. I'm not selling ants. I'm not an ant salesman. I'm not a bugman. I'm not Bug Daniel. Thin Marge is at the grocery store. Stop it. I am trying to sell normal things to normal people, okay? Would you sell ant burgers? I mean, if I owned a restaurant that sold ant burgers, I would definitely sell ant burgers, but only under that specific circumstance. It was just at the corner deli, and it was packed with ants. How are you going to complain with that? 
Store not full of ants. Stop it. I just love selling things to customers. I love it when they have a good time. I love selling things to customers, and I love my retail job. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A little bit of cereal for you today, sir. Oh, big spender, huh? A lot of protein inside of an ant. Eh. A hundred. A hundred. I'm not doing it again. I'm just... I'm. You know what? I'm a big store now. I can break this. No problem. Not making another tower of pennies. Working all day at the grocery store, and I'm thinking about all my prices. Working all day at my grocery store, and I'm telling the customers to get out of my store. Get out. I'd try a bug burger. If somebody made a bug burger and somebody was like, hey, bug burger. I would definitely try a bug burger. If somebody said, Brendan, would you try a bug burger? I'd be like, yeah, once. Well, like the bug burger experience. But otherwise, it's like, eh, I don't know. I don't know about anything else. They're bite-sized and packed with protein. A oh, bug burger. Burger with the bug in there. I'd try a bug burger, 100%. I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't like it, but I'd try it. What about a bug pizza? Oh, stop. Oh, I need a bug pizza. Oh, stop it. Mm, oh my God, you're 50. You want me to break change for a 50? Get out of here. Three milks. What kind of a man needs three milk? Don't ask any questions, streamer. That's a three milk man right there. Posted what bug I think Brendan would be in stream chat. Okay, what bug would I be? That's... I don't even... What? What? Me? Not me. Why is he crooked? Why is he long and crooked? Oh shit, I gotta fuck it. Checking out. It's you, not me. No. No, stop that. Not me. Me? No, not me. I'm not a bug boy. Stop it. Stop trying to get me to turn into a bug. Uh, Brendan, I'm sending vile potions your way to turn you into a bug. Please stop trying to turn me into a bug. I'm not falling for it again. It's not happening. I'm not going on a bug venture. You can't make me. Oh, do I gotta check the cheese? Is the cheese price too... No, the cheese price is fine. Nobody's buying cheese. Ain't nobody buying cheese. Why nobody buying cheese? People are buying a little bit of pasta. Nobody buying cheese. Are people finally buying a little bit of flour? Awesome. Any tea customers? We got some tea customers. Hell yeah. Powdered sugar always sells? Hell yeah. Come to my counter and give me your cash. Or I'll kick you in the store. I'll kick you in the ass. Turning you into a bug so I can trap you in a jar and shake you around? I mean, fair, honestly. I'm going to get Franz Kafka one of these days. If anybody was likely to get Franz Kafka on the internet, it'd be me. If I ever had to go through a meta... If any human being ever went through a metamorphosis like Franz Kafka's metamorphosis, it'd definitely be me. Oh. Hey. Oh. Do not let anybody put you in a jar. I mean, hey, if I ever sold one of those, what is it, U2s, I feel like that's just, it's going to happen. You can't stop it. 
If I ever had like U twos or something, there's no way you could be able. You, there's no way you'd be able to stop it. It would happen. You wouldn't be able to fight it. You would get jarred no matter what you do. You can't make an anti jar U twos. Somebody will find a big enough jar. Your U twos would immediately go into the big jar. See. See, nothing I could do about it. No matter what you do, you sell a figurine of yourself, it's going to get jarred. A hundred dollars, really? Damn. Brendan, if you were in a tragedy, what would be your fatal flaw? Hubris. <laughs> My Britain Daniel plushie would be sopping wet all the time. Years ago, I got, like, an offer to make YouTuber socks. And I never took it, because, like, I didn't want to deal with, like, the production or whatever of those. But I, it was really weird that anybody was like, YouTuber socks, would you like a pair of them? I was like, no. Who's going to buy Britain Daniel? Who'd want to wear my face on their feet? A lot of people. No. I'm going to make a U2s, but it's going to come in a jar already, so you don't even have to jar it. You wouldn't even have to jar it. It'd already be in the jar. It'd be the first figurine to come pre-jarred. The first figurine to come? No. I'm not selling a, a figurine with, like, a hot coming action. This figurine comes with a liquid, so if you, if you fucking, if you, if you, I don't know, if you shake it, you squeeze it, it, I, no. I don't even want to think about that. That's horrible. That's horrible. Give that a chat bad and a bad. That's horrible. Come fu grip. Stop. We gotta be better than this. We live in a society. We gotta be better than this. Ren Daniel likes bad drag collab. Listen, when I started streaming 10 years ago, um, God, and I mean, like, back when, like, I was a, a lot smaller and also uh, in college and streaming, um, I was constantly like, hey, bad, dra bad dragon collab. It'd be really funny. I don't use any of their products, but it'd be really fucking funny. Now I'm like, oh god, that could be in like the cards at some point. I don't even want to. I don't want it to be a reality. I, I, I'd like to keep it in like 2014 Brendan bit. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it in 2014 where it belongs. I'm gonna keep that bit in 2014 where it belongs. Can't believe Brendan grew in size exponentially. Yeah, I'm 18 feet tall now. It's horrible. Giant husband. Oh, actually, did I tell you guys I got a relic? I forgot about this. I forgot. I forgot. I, I, I My mom gave me this because uh, she forgot she had it. She's like, here, since I'm packing up and getting rid of a lot of shit, you keep it. Guess what I got? I thought I so my mom gave me my phylactery. If I was a lich, this would be my phylactery. One second. My phylactery, yeah. It's the Terraria skeleton that I voiced in the Terraria animated series uh, that I never got paid for, and they made toys of the, the characters of that series. 
Oh boy. Cool. <laughs> it's my phylactery. And toy was your payment? No, my mom had to hunt it down and pay for it. That's my phylactery. My soul is in there. Brandon, what if I bet you're back at an egregarious angle? My fuck is out here still quoting Dracula Flow. Find a new video. <laughs> hey, Brendan, have you already made your abomination character in Dragon's Dogma 2? No, I'm saving that for the stream. I didn't want to do a separate stream of just the character creator, so I'm just going to make the character in the, uh... I'm just going to make the character in the, um... In the character creator, so... When I stream the game, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to like fucking make a separate character creator stream. I'm just going to make the character. When I, when I stream the game, I will make the character then. So I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a fun game. I'm probably going to be really bad at it, uh, cause I bounced off Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon pretty hard. Uh, but I think this one will be maybe easier to get into. We'll see. You're going to make a big furry cat man with no teeth? I'm going to make whatever I want, but I know one thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to make a character with a fat ass. As Power World has already proven, if you give, in, if you give people ass, ass sliders, every streamer on Earth is going to make an abomination with a fat dumpy. And, like, I'm not going to do that. My two... My true two prerequisites for making a character in Dragon's Dog with Two is I'm not going to give them an overly large ass. Not going to do that. And I'm not going to make the Joker. So I'm I'm going to try to make something that I I can make, but I'm not going to make a character with a fat ass. Not like well maybe a fat ass, but not like a fat ass, you know. And I'm not going to make the Joker. The the two things that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do it. 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 Make them have no cheeks. Yeah, concave ass. Dedicated zero ass. Negative ass. Thick joker. No, I'm not making thick joker. I'm not making dick thick em either. Damn, I'm so fucking full. All these Cheetos are gonna go right to my asshole. Fuck, babe. I got a fat ass and no brain. I'm not afraid to use neither of them. Damn, bitch, do you like them with plump dumpers? Because my dumper is plumper than anybody else's. And it's like... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I need eggs for sure. Eggs and bread? Oh god, we're so... What's the bread price? We can probably uh, lower bread price. Bread's too expensive and I just bought too much bread. Bread compensation. Mmm, bread. Mmm, bread. I bought too much bread. This is so sad. Uh, egg? Uh, we can have a little old egg as a treat. Damn, I have so much extra now. Oh, I need chunky chocolate cereal. True, I need chunky chocolate cereal. Oh, I gotta, I gotta pay my bills, too. Damn. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Your store messy? No, it's not. Shut up. My store is pristine. There are no ants in my store. There are none. There are no ants in my store. There are none. Shut up. They're not getting into the boxes of cereal and eating all the cereal and going, yum, yum. I love being an ant and I love eating cereal. It's not happening. Shut up. Oh, what else are we? We need normal oil, don't we? All right, there goes all my money. Normal oil in a fridge. Second fridge incoming. 
That's right, two fridge. Customers are double happy about the double fridge. A little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. Egg. Another bread shelf, maybe? I got enough room. I got enough room and I got enough bread, so more bread. Wow, the crazy prices on this bread. I wonder. Be another day at the grocery store, having good times all the time. Another day at the grocery store, having good times all the time. The grocery store is stocked with all your needs. Come to my store. Buy some of my wares. Mmm, groceries. You need to refrigerate the oil, Brendan. You need the oil to be nice and cold, Brendan. I don't need cold oil. It's gonna fuck with people. It's gonna make them go crazy. People are gonna lose their minds coming to my store and enjoying the cold oil. Uh, I don't want to do that to them. I can't do that to them. That's rude as hell. I don't want to have people come to my store and then I hit it with a cold oil. All yours for $3 a bottle. That'd be fucking weird. That'd be fucked up. That'd be rude as shit. Fine. Rock distributor for you. Uh, let me pause the game. Just for you. Where is it? There it is. Stay tuned for very... The celery sticks, the meat and the fish will make you sick. All the food is poison, all the food is poison. The apples, tomatoes, wheat and the corn, all the food is poison. Don't eat the food, it's poison food. All the food is poison, all the food is poison. The onions, the pickles and the melons too, even the pasta and the turkey are contaminated food. Don't eat the food. Chicken. Poison. Barley. Poison. White rice. Baked bean. Duck lawn ranch. Poison. Sunflower seeds. Poison. Radicchio. Pumas. Oranges. Poison. Pasta avocado. Poison. Your dad's barbecue brisket. Poison. Horse meat. Poison. Snout. Little babies. Poison. Fingernail. Cigarette burn. Poison. Scabs. Poison. Napple, 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 napple. Poison! Try to figure out something else to eat. I'm out of here. Poison! <laughs> All the food is poison. All the food is poison. Napple, 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 napple. I don't even have any fruit at my grocery store yet, do I? Can you even get fruit? I didn't even look and see if there was a fruit option. I don't even have any fruit. All I sell is, uh, like, pre-packaged pre produce shit. I'm just selling- I am selling poison to everybody. All this slime and poison, they fucking love it. Yum yum, eat it up. Yummy yummy poison town. Time for poison! hundred dollar bill, come on. Come on, come on. Get out of here. I can't find my craft tongue flower. Oh, do I gotta buy craft tongue flower? One second. And you, uh, can you fucking leave me alone, please? I'm buying flour. Shut the fuck. I'll get to you eventually. I'm, I, I, I pride myself on customer service. Now shut the fuck up and let me get my shit. Yeah, 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 I'm here. Buying tea and egg and rice. I get it, I get it. Get out of here. There, I bought some- I did you pick up some more stuff? Awesome, we got the flour. We got the goods. We got the money. We got the flour. Get out of here. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Hmm. What did it, what did they say I was out of? I was out of something. I can't even remember what it was. I don't even care. Back to the cashier. Get the fuck out of here. Cereal and milk and powdered sugar and milk. Get the fuck out of here. Out of my store. Out of my store. Out of my store. Leave. 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 Restock the rice. 
We struck the flower. We struck the cereal. They love buying goods at my store. They love buying two big bags of flour at my store. Your coolers are barren. I know. I need Malik. Oh god, the customers, they're coming in. Oh god, the fiends. The fiends are here. I know you're looking to buy. I'm looking to sell. Don't wubby a bubby. I'm just doing a little bit of restocking. Don't mind me. Teehee. Just making sure you have a bottle of order. Okay, I'll be with you in a second. Just gonna get right over here. Awesome. A lot of tea, a lot of coffee, a lot of bread. I understand. Thank you. A lot of flour, a lot of coffee, a lot of peanut butter. I get you. Get out of here. Wanted to buy milk, too? Uh, should have just walked back over there. I had milk in stock. Maybe if you waited a fucking second. Maybe if you had a little bit of customer patience. But no. No patience. Two milks? Awesome. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at him. Stocking up. Couldn't find the flower. Already out of flower again? Why is that a hot seller? These aren't customers, they're ants. Brendan, those aren't crabs, those are people. You're in a grocery store. Brendan, those aren't crabs, those are people. You're in a grocery store. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. I, I... 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 I can't... I can't even comprehend. I... <sighs> Give me a moment here.
Those are crabs. Those are people. We're... We're in a grocery store. I gotta get back to work. There are people waiting on me. There are customers waiting on me. This is just a day in the life. This is normal. We're normal. We're so very normal. I love grocery store. And I love selfing at grocery store. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a great have a great day. Looks like you're picking up some stuff. Awesome. Have a have a great day. Hey, thank you for the money. Here's a dollar back. Have a great day. Hi. Have a great day. Two bottles of oil. Awesome. Here's a dollar. Have a great day. Two egg. I get ya. Here's a dollar. Have a great day. Wow, big purchase, big spender. Wow, two dollars for you. Have a great day. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. This is my story here. Don't come back. Don't come back to the supermarket. This is my store. There we go. Good day. Oh, what is it? Cereal and pasta? We take a little look-see here. Um, we need more oil, we need more flour for sure. Those are going on the list. Oil, pasta, flour, sugar, cheese, and some water. There we go. Maximum purchase. Maximum big purchase. Well, I forgot about this. I forgot about- I forgot about the- I- I- I forgot that I turned that on. <laughs> Satan took over the channel, yeah. Don't worry about that. Sometimes- sometimes it happens. I don't even know what the voice sounds like right now. I literally cannot remember what it said. I pressed the button and then I forgot. Forgot? Yeah, I pressed the- I pressed the funny button and then I forgot that I pressed the funny button. It was Satan, it was just low? Oh, okay. What about now? What about now? No, put it back on. Just five more minutes, please. Or God? No. <laughs> My child will repost and share. My child will like the c and comment. Oh, oh no. My child will repost and share. My child will like and comment. My child will turn this into a 15 second clip and then put it on TikTok all on its own. <laughs> Pizza, pasta, put it in a box, deliver it. All right, what do we look at? Egg. I got, I got room for egg. Ain't nobody buying enough egg, I'm not gonna lie. Tea, we are out of tea. Clipping? Am oh, am I clipping? Now I'm confused. Is my audio goofed up? Am I normal now? Am I normal now? Am I normal now? My child will sprinkle when they tinkle. They won't be a sweetie, and they won't wipe the CD. My child will not sprinkle when they tinkle, and if they do, they will be a sweetie, and they will wipe the, sw the CD. You're never normal? No, nah, I'm normal all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. I like to read, uh, sit by the fire, wear a long robe, walk around the house, uh, releasing a banshee wail whenever nobody else is around, like a, oh, when I'm alone in the home. That's a normal thing to do. Sometimes all you gotta do is release your inner, uh, what's the, what's the guy, Marley? Uh, Jacob Marley from, uh, Scrooge? Sometimes I just like to release a little Marley, you know? A little Marley energy. 100% normal. It's incredibly normal to walk around your home wearing a Jedi robe and nothing else with the windows fully open and just going, oh, oh, while you have a candle on a plate. I mean, realistically, if you're a human being in the United States of America and you don't have a candle on a plate, what are you even fucking doing, right? Like, what are you even fucking- if you don't have a candle on a plate, what are you even fucking doing? What a waste. You could literally go and buy a candle, put it on a plate, and be so incredibly normal. 
Come on. Anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. Anybody could buy a candle with a, a plate and a candle. Candle and a plate. You can buy the combo. You can have them both. You can have best of both worlds. Is this slam poetry? No, slam poetry is what I call breaking your mom's back. Uh, with all the dubious back shots I do be doing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry the demon came out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know why the demon decided to come out just then for just a quick minute, but uh, the, the demon had to come out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The demon came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> and suddenly it changes. Violently it changes. Listen, if you set me up for it, I'm going to I'm going to be vile. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Big apologies. Big ups. Brendan, if I put a candle on a plate, I'd be tempted to eat it. I don't trust myself. No, you don't have to eat it. You just have to walk around your house with the candle on a plate and going, Oh, 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 it's me. Oh, oh. That's like the best way to experience it, honestly. If you don't have a candle on a plate, what are you even fucking doing? Like, personally, I feel like I should buy a candle on a plate just so I could do that more. I feel like I'm not maxing. I don't think I'm candle on a plate maxing my entire life, right? I really could be doing a lot more. No, oh, 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 oh. Why? You know? Could do a lot more of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry the demon came out. It will happen again. It will happen again. I saying if I if the demon sees a chance to take control, it will. Brendan, you ever see Into the Woods? Yeah, I was in Into the Woods in high school. Uh, Into the Woods and down the dale in vain, perhaps, but who can tell? Into the Woods, but who can tell? Agony beyond power of speech. Well, you don't think I'm a fucking you don't think I'm a fucking theater kid? Come on, dude. I mean, look how bullyable I am. Look how bullyable. Look at this guy. So fucking bullyable. You could bully me all fucking day. Look at this fucking dude. Post this picture on your Facebook and then caption it with I fucking hate this dude. <laughs> look how bullyable I am. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what am I missing here? What am I what am I missing? Little little sip of olive oil. I have some extra olive oil. I mean, I just went went to a performance of Into the Woods earlier tonight. Nice. I uh I played the um the Baker's old man. Uh the Baker's dad. I wore a fake big beard. I was like, we disappoint, we disappear, we we don't. I don't even remember the solo that I had, I'm not gonna lie. I remember like the one song, like Agony. I don't even remember the song that I sang in Into the Woods. Put you in a locker. I bet you fit snugly in one. I don't. I don't even fit in a locker. I'm six oh five. I'm sorry. I never got stuffed in a locker as a kid. So I'm too tall for that. I'm Conan O'Brien sized. I'm sorry. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh fuck! Normal flour, ain't I? I need to buy normal flour. People are hungry. They're starved. Oh. I need a big pizza. We'll get you a big locker. See, thank you. Finally. Finally, I'm getting a big locker all to myself. Awesome. This is going to be so fucking sick. Put me in the big locker. Take me with you. All good. All good. All good. All good. Wall of food looking good. Just gotta try harder. Yeah, you're really gonna fucking pretzel me up to fit me in there. Interesting, interesting. All right, what are we what are we looking at for licenses? Because that's another big thing. Pay our bills. Just get those taken care of. Um, growth. So we don't want to grow the store yet because we want to be able to buy a new product license. And this is like juice, soda, soda. Fuck. We can we can afford soda. I think I think we can buy soda next day and then what else are we looking at cakes and pies bleach and soaps cheese and coffee butter and cereal and chicken cheese and honey and tuna 
salmon and steak and sushi, crab sticks, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, pizza. Pizza level 25. Level 25 pizza. Oh my god, pizza level 25 books. God, we really are going to go crazy. They go crazy with this later in the game, don't they? They go kind of kind of insane with it. My store is still kind of simple. And I got this soda. You ever think how coffins are just people lockers? Yeah. You could think that lockers are alive coffins. I don't want a coffin when I die. When I die at my funeral, I want somebody to shoot me out of the big confetti cannon and I want to fly like 500 feet into the woods for the wolves to eat my body. Realistically, I don't want to I don't want to have like a crazy like expensive funeral. I just want to be shot out of a big cannon. My dismembered body spread across the land while wolves eat the rest of it. Is there a license for pears? Is there a pear license? See, I didn't see any fruit. They really don't want you selling fruit, do they? Was there any license to sell fruit? Fruit licenses? I didn't I didn't see any fruit. Which is the weird thing. Yeah, I don't I see green beans, pizza. Uh, vodka, veggie mix, uh, no fruit, ham, a lot of ham, a lot of options for ham, butter, cheese, green tea, I'm just, I'm not even seeing canned fruit. Creator of this game is like, I fucking hate fruit. I hate fruit, I don't like them, I look at apples, I look at pineapples, I look at pears, hate them. I'm like, I don't get it, dude, why do you hate fruit so much? Realistically, when I die, I want my body to be embalmed and filled with animatronics and then put in my family home. That whenever you enter my family home, my animatronic, like, uh, uh, decomposing corpse points at you and says, Hi! Hey! I'll record over a hundred different voice lines that it'll say. It'll be like I'm still around. Put me in this spring lock suit. Nobody else will do it, so I'll have to. More flower. Everybody buying flour. Is it like, is this flour city? Why do you want so much flour? Why does everybody in town want flour? Different kinds of flour. So many different kinds. So many people want so many different kinds of flour. I don't get it. And rice and flour. Nobody wants to buy my milk and water. Are my milk and water prices all fucked up? No, milk's good. Water is also good. What about eggs? E eggs are good. Ch cheese is good. They're all below. They're all below fair price. Can people start stealing from your store in this? It's still in early access. Um, I think it's a single dev. Uh, and I think one of the planned things is shoplifters. It's definitely a fun little concept. I could definitely see myself wanting to go back to this in like a year. Right? Just to see what kind of updates get out. Um, it's not just like a slop bop. I, I think it's just one guy working on it. I want armed robbery. I want the armed robbery update now. Let me invade other people's grocery stores and steal from them to add to my store. I want PvP enabled in my grocery store. I <laughs> Give me all your milk now. Ha, ah, the milk bandit. I've been expecting you. Have you been expecting my 50 millimeter turrets? Yes, I have. I'll parry all the bullets with my grocery sword. <laughs> Play the boss music, play the boss music. PvP grocery store, you have to fight the other stores to be able to get products. Look at this fucking walk cycle. Yeah, I'm in here to buy butter. What? No, oh, butter!
Dark Stores 3. Dude, just got a new bonfire. We're at the Cracker Barrel. Ah. Bonfire at the Cracker Barrel, huh? Interesting. Never been inside of a Cracker Barrel, but I do assume if you're above the age of 50, that's how you see it. You see it as like Majula, right? Inside of a Cracker Barrel for like people above the age of 50, it has to be like a, it has to be like a, like a hub, right? If you're above the age of 50, it's got to be a hub for you. You go to the Cracker Barrel and you're like, I need to put points into leveling up. What are you leveling up today? Hmm, I'm thinking about the racism strat. Ah, the racism stat. All right. Enjoy. Enjoy the potatoes and everything. Now get out of the Cracker Barrel. I just have this incredible vivid imagery of, of old white people congregating around the inside of a Cracker Barrel, and there's just a big bonfire in the middle of there. Cracker Barrel is basically Destiny 2 for old people. Cracker Barrel with loot rarity is what you're telling me. <laughs> add loot rarity to the Cracker Barrel now. When are we going to start a WhiteHouse.gov petition so they can add loot rarity to the Cracker Barrel? Every day of my life, I am hoping, I am praying, add loot rarity to the Cracker Barrel. I just want to see what will happen. Dude, dude, just got legendary mac and cheese drop. Mythic green beans. Cracker Barrel, but I enabled PvP. I'm waiting for it. One of these days. Never been there, though. Uh, that's one of the experiences where it's like, I gotta go to Cracker Barrel at some point. One of these days, I gotta go to Cracker Barrel. I feel like that's like a... It, it's like, I'm white trash. There's, there's no excuse for me to be 30 years old and not have been to Cracker Barrel yet, right? No fucking excuse for me to not be, a, like, at a Cracker Barrel. I mean, like, 40% of the time. It's kind of a little bit above mid, yeah. I mean, we have Perkins in my area, and I like Perkins. It's okay. See, that's what I was thinking. Is It's probably like, this is okay. Get stuff to the guild on Cracker... Get stuff to the guilds on Cracker Barrel Wine and just be like, oh, shit. I love a Perkins. Perkins is good. Perkins is like the premier place to go at 3 a.m. I like a Perkins. I like getting the I get, like getting a pie at Perkins every once in a while, and I'm like, oh. I've never not gotten food poisoning from a Perkins. Oh, dude, I love a Perkins. I was a theater kid for a while, so like, of course, after a show, it's like, uh, it's like eleven, twelve. Everybody goes to the Perkins. Never had a Waffle House. Saved. All right. Um. I think we're going to end it. Yeah, I think good Saturday stream. I think uh, I'm going to pop off uh, and then go and get some other work done. Thank you all for coming to the stream, though. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, before I go, I'm going to shill, as I always do. Uh, creator code Brent Daniel. If you buy anything on the Epic Game Store, helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Game Store, hey, don't worry about it. And there's always videos over on Brent Daniel, too. You can check those out at your leisure. Hope you all have a good morning, noon, and night. And if I see you tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. And if I don't, I don't. Bye.